we're back! Stream begins in just a second. I still gotta post to Twitter and then Facebook. Real pain in the in the pooper. Real pain in the pooper, everyone. But we're halfway there. Twitter done. I know you guys are itching. Everyone's itching. I'm itching. I'm itchy all over. We're gonna get through this crew. Uh, uh, yeah. For now, enjoy these sensual Galaxy Force 2 jams. I really should have done this first. Time really caught up on me. Guys. And ladies. I, I, I don't know. September 1995. What in the hell? We're getting closer. We're getting closer to the whole year. Ah, the more I talk, the longer this takes. Alright, listen to the tunes, everyone. Enjoy. We'll be back in one minute. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the stream. 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 Extreme. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry, everyone. We're all wearing, We're all wearing masks, masks back there. Back there. Back there. Back there. Safety first. But nothing stops this train. Nothing. All right. Hey, guess what? September now. And there's a lot of wacky stuff that happens in September. A lot of TV shows have started again. They started up new seasons, new shows. It's a hell of a time to be alive. Stick with me. I'll take you through it all. 1995. September 1995. But first, anyone who can guess what I'm drinking will earn 1 million rad bucks. No actual cash value. But it's gonna be big. It's gonna be bigger than Bitcoin. Rad bucks. Uh, uh, I got a G Fuel sponsorship? No, 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 no. I got... I got the Rad Fuel. Mm okay. Alright. Hey, filter in, everyone. Let's have a good time. Let's, uh, you know, Jesus. Let's tone it down, alright? Let's, uh, increase... Let's tone down the savage vibes and increase the delectable, delectable vibes. This is much more dance club worthy. I'd go to a 16-bit dance club if this is all they played. Name that tune. I don't think there's many that will be able to. All right, so hey, I did my research again about what has been happening in the world as of September 1995. All right, are you guys ready? Movies that came out. Wait, we do this right. We do this right or we don't do it at all. Hello. September. September. 
1995. All right, guess what, guys? The Dark Horse movie came out. Screamers. Damn, with Peter Weller. Do you guys remember Screamers? Man alive. I actually secretly... Well, it's not a secret. I'm telling you, so it's not a secret. I love that movie. That's a great movie. 1995, though. Ooh. It embodies 1995, as far as I'm concerned. But I'd like to hear from you. Everyone, you know, I always... Uh, tone it down. I always forget to do this, but hey, if you're watching this video in the archive, or if you're just watching it now, or if you're on... YouTube, or if you're on Twitch, subscribe, comment, be a pal, be a friend to your pal, Nornrad, because, uh, you know, I'm pushing the snowball uphill. We're waiting to get up to the tippy top of the hill so that this snowball can careen down and cause mass destruction. In a good way. Um, my brother's in the chat, of course, that's great to see. Uh, we did watch Screamers. He's asking if we saw it. Um... That's the one where they had to smoke the red cigarettes. Uh, wait, am I getting it mixed up now with... Maybe... No. Oh, it has Peter Weller in it with the little robots in the ground that are like razor blades. And they come bolting out of the ground screaming at you. But the robots designed like a bunch of uh, new, new models that were not as obvious. No, Scanners was with uh, Michael Ironside. Hey, Doc, is he gonna remember any of this? Uh, see at the party, Richter. Um, Michael Ironside was in Scanners uh, with that epic, epic. Uh, my brother's asking, was it Scanners? Um, no, uh, Scanners was the movie where uh, Michael Ironside had the brain battle uh, with the guy in the office building at the end, and it was all filmed in like Alberta, Canada, and it's just what a weird movie Scanners is. Not a 1995 movie, but a great movie also. Uh, really synthy score as well. Get your butts above the hard deck, Jester. He was actually, yeah, my brother's quoting some other Michael Ironside greats, such as Top Gun. That was a great film. I like Michael Ironside so much, I was low-key suggesting my wife and I name our son Ironside. <laughs> he came this close to being Ironside Creamer. It's not bad. That, that one's up for grabs now. Ironside's up for grabs. Of course, we got Fred Couples on bass, um, the unofficial, uh, official... Um, composer for Rad Reads. Uh, I think we can turn this up a bit because these tunes calm me down. Just calm me right down. Screamers, check it out everyone. 1995 Incarnate has really, like, 1995 you can always tell if you're watching a movie from 1995 because the directors just can't help but, like, touch the camera angle. Always. Uh, Empire Records had also just come out. I don't know if I've even ever seen it. I remember I was at the age where that looked like something older kids would watch and the annoying older kids. Like, it's weird if you're at an age where there's annoying older kids. Empire Records. The girl has a shaved head. It just seemed like it was trying very hard. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Seven had come out this, this month. This is all this month, guys. 1995, September. Seven, wow. That is a goodie. That's, that's a hard one to sit, you know when you're sitting down to watch Seven, you are in for a ride. An emotional roller coaster, Seven. I'm sitting tall, where's the top of my head? Seven. Um, Brad Pitt, killed it. What's in the box? God damn. Kevin Spacey, that's a low key, awesome villain. Doesn't get enough credit. Uh, after Seven, of course, we got Showgirls. Candy showgirls, showgirls. Remember Jesse from uh, Say by the Bell got topless about twenty times in the movie to a point where even as a twelve-year-old, thirteen-year-old, I'm like, okay, not an especially great movie. And I don't. Oh, here's the thing: is she a great actress or a terrible actress? Because that character would be uh, over dramatic, right? I just remember her acting being embarrassingly bad, but that character probably would also act just like that. And so a method actor would probably take this, roll it all up, and be like, no, this is how she would act. Oscar? Oscar nod? Retroactive Oscar nod? Um, let's see. Uh, the movie Hackers had also just come out. 
with Zero Cool himself. This was before The Matrix. We didn't have anything else. All we had was Hackers. I don't remember if that one's any good. Was Angelina Jolie in Hackers? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Okay, TV shows uh, that were premiering this month. Because this is, this is the premiere uh, month. Shows come out this month. God damn, Fred Couples. Lois and Clark season two had just begun. Sybil season two had just begun. Now brace yourselves, everyone. Murder, she wrote. Final season had just started. Oh dear, that's a hard one. She wrote about a lot of murders. Jesus, 12 seasons worth. Uh, Sister, Sister season three was just uh, beginning on the WB. Sister, Sister. I, for some reason, saw a lot of that show. Hey, this was before the internet, you know? Oh, hey, say hello to the microphone. I'm gonna get a little closer because I'm, like, arching my back. All right, let's get, let's get relaxed, everyone. We don't need to be so tense. Yeah? All right, let's just chill, okay? Uh, Mad About You Season 4 was just starting. Melrose Place Season 5 was just starting. Ned and Stacy was premiering this month. That, uh, Thomas Hayden Church, he doesn't get enough credit. The funny guy. Very surly man. Uh, In the House with LL Cool J was premiering. And I remember at the time, uh, my sister would watch this this show. Uh, one of my older sisters. And she would say, oh, I want to watch In the House. It's got LL Cool J on it. Uh, and that's the time. You have to remember now. This is before the internet. And I was, uh, I only played video games. That was all I did. So I didn't know anything about pop culture. So I thought LL Cool J was just the little kid in the show. I had no idea she'd be talking about like the uncle that lived with him or something. What's so big deal about this kid? Uh, Star Trek Voyager season two was just beginning. Roseanne season eight. Man, that show must have started early because this is 1995. It started in the 80s. Wow. Um, the first episode of uh, Roseanne premiering this month has a synopsis. Jackie has a bee in her bonnet over Roseanne feeding Andy junk food. Dan is upset because DJ's image of him includes a can of beer. Later that season, Dan suffers a heart attack at Darlene and David's wedding. I thought it was... I thought it was just supposed to be a funny show, and now Dan is dead. Actually, I don't think he dies till the next season. And I think it was a dream at that point, too. I actually bailed out, I think, right before this season. Which is crazy, because I used to watch a lot of Roseanne. Not that I didn't like it at the time, I just moved on. 1995. I was 13. There was a lot going on. I had a lot of fun games to play, which we will get to. But I have to encapsulate the moment for you all. Okay? Coach was still on the air and starting their eighth season. The skillful acting of Craig T. Nelson. Are you Peter Griffin? Make it quick. I think something like that. Family Matters, season seven. Urkel was in full swing. Urkel Mania was in full swing. I was a big fan of Urkel. I think I saw every episode of Family Matters right up until just after this season. I was I was still watching it. I was on board. Uh, one of the synopses uh, for the episodes that were starting this season. Urkel's transformation chamber is going berserk. The nerd and flustered foil. The nerd and flustered foil, Carl, and I don't know what they're saying, but it's the episode where Carl and him get shrunk, okay? And then they're on the countertop in the kitchen, and for some reason there's like a big can of Pringles there, and they're eating a big Pringles. That's good TV. That's high quality television. Oh, damn! We got, uh, I may tag in the Twitch chat. He's saying, don't forget about Waterworld. I don't think I did. Was that earlier this year? Because I know the... No, it, it, it was earlier. Waterworld was a couple months earlier. Because I remember talking about it and laughing that <laughs> there's always any shot of ocean you'll see. There's always Kevin Costner and a bunch of land behind him because they had that rotating platform. But good catch. 1995 is not, not a year to be messed with. I'm um, glad we got people in both uh, Twitch and YouTube enjoying themselves. Uh, Boy Meets World Season 3 had just started, and uh, that's it for TV shows. Um, as for music, the only one that really stood out to me was MC Hammer, Inside Out. This must have been his comeback album, because this is 95. Um, MC Hammer's kind of a weird one. I can see why Vanilla Ice got more popular than he did, 
uh, by the end of their tour when Vanilla Ice was the uh, headliner. Because if you listen to some of Hammer's tracks, Hammer, um, there's like a weird low energy to them. Like his rapping is like, a do, a do, a deep, a do, do, and a, like, I mean, his dancing was phenomenal. I can't deny his dancing, but there's a lack of energy in his vocals. What do I know? Uh, all right, so Jay Leno had a couple of fun guests this month. Uh, David Allen Greer and Gary Sinise. That's a fun combo. I don't know what they were uh, promoting. Uh, Drew Carey, Dale Earnhardt, Sybil Shepard, and Tom Jones. That's a powerhouse episode right there. Uh, the late, great Phil Hartman was on. Jerry Seinfeld was on. Um, that's always fun to see Jerry Seinfeld do some stand-up on a late-night show. Whoa, my brother's in the chat, and he said... Uh, have you seen her is an amazing song by Hammer. Actually, listen to it recently. I'm going to check it out. Guaranteed now. Have you seen her? A do, a do, a dee, a do, do. I don't remember what the line is, but it's from, it's from Can't Touch This. Um, Jerry Seinfeld, Paul Reiser and Paula Abdul, the Paul Combo, was on Jay Leno this month. And we wrapped up the month with Denzel Washington and Michael Bolton. Powerhouse Combos. All right, guys, that's, um, that's 1995 in a nice, quick and dirty nutshell. Let's do some reading, shall we? Hi. All right, guess what, everyone? Why, why does it do this? Get over there. All right, I was doing a little pre-reading. Let's, let's not jump ahead. Oh, by the way, last week, god dang, I really blew it. I dropped the ball. I fumbled. Um, I didn't change this picture on the side. It was still the Judge Dredd one from the week before. God dang! What a rookie! What what a week. Um, let's listen to some Air Buster. Alright, so Primal Rage is all the rage and I could not be less enthused. This is not a good game, everyone. And um, I didn't play it much as a kid. Um, it rubbed me the wrong way almost immediately, but uh, you know, I'm, I had good wherewithal to know a stinky game when I saw it, because this is a stinker. Um, and we're gonna play it on multiple platforms. And we'll learn to really appreciate the arcade version, because wow, the ports to the ins or the Super Nintendo Genesis, <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're, they're rotten. You rotten, girl. Batman Forever. Now, alright, let's just, um, you know what I'm gonna do, everyone? I just real quick want to show you guys the game list today. Batman Forever. I'm debating whether or not to start with the Batman Forever. Um, famously, the angry video game nerd had covered the Super Nintendo version, which is abysmal. This is a, uh, a quite stinky game. Um, and I actually did a little pre-play to see if I could, uh, just to check and see if the Game Boy and the Game Gear versions would work. And I got stuck at the first door again, so I had to actually look up a fact to figure out how to get past the first stinking door. And I figured it out. Pro level gamer, right here. You guys are watching the premiere, uh, Batman Forever player in the world. The only guy who can get past the first door. Um, so you guys will let me know. If you guys want to check out some Batman Forever, one of the worst games of all time, probably. Um, I'd be happy to play it, as you know. Um, but other than that, we can we can follow the flow of the magazine. We can come back to Batman Forever. There's a lull for sure. But just so you know, there's over 125 awesome moves, gadgets, and attacks real digitized characters and backgrounds and it shows and Robin man I don't know what the hell they were doing with Robin here over 80 unbelievable stages I can't believe it in honor of that I tried to organize my folders a little better this week still not the best in honor of this only my brother will understand this the kicking team comes on, and I can't believe over 80 unbelievable stages. Joe Montana Sports Talk Football 2. Alright, so you guys let me know. Other than that, let's continue reading, shall we? Sorry, I gotta, I gotta fiddle. Let's do it. Alright, um... All right, so there's Batman Begins, or Batman Forever. Jesus, the Val Kilmer one. Yikes. Ay -ay -ay yikes. Chrono Trigger, hell of a game. I would love to play this on stream, but it's just not, it's not conducive to funny viewing. Of course, the mystery beverage, beverage of the episode. Anyone can guess what it is? 
you will be showered and adored by all. And if you get it wrong, you will be booed until my voice is whore. S. Horse? Whore? S. Horse? I'm trying to quote Simpsons while I'm jammed to this baseline. It doesn't work. Can't do it. That was a hell of a game. I would play that right now. Don't give me an excuse. Frank Thomas being advertised for the fourth issue in a row? All the way down to the Game Boy. Game Boy Game Gear. I don't know. You gotta be really bottom of the barrel to be like, this long road trip, but I'm gonna play some Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball. I don't know. The acclaim down here is what's really worrisome. I think they're worse than LJN, actually, at this era. There's some stinky stuff. Speaking of stinky stuff, check this out. This character actually farts. And you know how you do the move? You have to do a, 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 a full circle on the controller from bottom left to top diagonal. What the hell are we doing? All right, we need to amp up some of the vibes here. I guess, I guess I'm sufficiently amped by this. So yes, Primal Rage got a lot of notoriety because it was kind of a vulgar game. And this one character, Chaos, has this fart move and a move of fatality where he pees on an enemy after they've been beaten. And uh, I, re I do recall there was a lot of uproar about the pee fatality. I think they removed it on the console version, so that's why... Uh, even though they don't talk about the uh, arcade version in this episode, I'm gonna play all three because I want I want to know. We might check out the Game Gear version. I don't know. I don't know if that's. I mean, you'll get it. It just slowly ramps down until you're basically looking at a few pixels on the screen. What can you do? Um, what else we got here? Clear sill. Yeah, you start using these and you get more zits. Anyone else have that? I was like, oh, you're a teenager. You have to use clear cell. You wipe this, like, stinging pad on your face, and then you get a ton of zits the next day. I didn't know you're not supposed to pop zits. As a kid, I popped every single one of them, and they would just turn into a neon red dot on my face. And always in, like, symmetrical patterns, so it looked like I was drawing on my face. Connect the dot. One time I had, like, a perfect triangle of, of them on my upper lip. For, like, a week and a half. I mean, some people had it worse than me. But also, if, okay, if you are a real creator face, uh, people say I eat too many chocolate bars. Anyone rem remember that commercial? Anyone? If you got it bad, it almost blends in. You're just, uh, it's like a freckle kid, you know, at that point. You're just freckled. But if you're a not a zit guy, and you get three zits in a triangle on your lip, it looks like a tattoo. It doesn't look right. It's not a good look. Um, if anyone can explain this ad to me, uh, I'd appreciate it. I'm looking to buy some jeans, and uh, this is all I have. Here we go, Ridge Racer. I'm almost, um, I'm bummed out that we played it earlier, in an earlier issue, because it actually gets reviewed in this issue. But you know what we can talk about? This advertisement right here. This right here. I think this is phenomenal advertising. You are not Red E. That's classy. I like that. I remember these ads. I, I enjoyed these ads. They got me sufficiently pumped for the PlayStation. Oh, e Nos. Okay, I don't know what that means. Sony backwards. I don't know why they're doing it that way. But that was a hell of a game, Ridge Racer. Weird control, but an early game. You know, it's crazy to think that it was just this month that the PlayStation was coming out. I, uh, spoiler: It came out this month. <laughs> uh, Saturn came out last month. PlayStation came out this month. So we do have some PlayStation games to play. Um, unfortunately, I played most of them already uh, because they were previewed in earlier magazines. Because, remember, the Game Pro, or, uh, sorry, the, the consoles come out in Japan like six months earlier. Weirdest thing ever. I don't know why we put up with it here in the West. I guess we didn't have the internet, so... All we had is magazines. We're like, whoa, those look like really good games. I'm jealous of those Japanese kids. Um, this kid saying, what? I'm an avid reader of your magazine with only one complaint. The ads! Half of your magazine is ads! Nobody pays attention to them, so why have them? Well, it depends on the ad. Some of these ads are awful. Like, why am I getting Levi's ads? That's not, honestly, this is not an ad. This is like a, it's like an abstract piece of art. Oh, okay, wait, there's up, some upside down stuff. Uh, dumped, aren't you, pal? I, that's, just, that's enough. It's weird, you can actually see the pixels. Isn't that strange? Does that count as pixel art? 
All right, what else we got here? This kid classing it up with his tuxedo for his school picture. Bold move. I approve. Uh, I don't get it. Why does Sega keep coming out with more and more new systems? He's right to question it. This is weird and wild stuff. I don't know what they were doing. The 32X was a blunder. It might be like the worst console release ever. Okay, here we go. We're getting a full screen for this one. I don't think we have a choice. Um, I don't know if my transitions are making sound today. Fine, whatever. Don't make any sound. What do I care? This is something I'd hang up on my wall. It's uh, not bad, Guile. I mean, I will. I'm not gonna rip on the kid's art. I just think it looks funny. His Raul Julia is dead on though. Chun Li needs a little work. Not too shabby overall. Oh my lord. What is this? What the hell is this? Okay, I was thought he was saying Krillin could beat Shao Kahn. Oh, maybe he could actually. Krillin is the most powerful human on the planet Earth in the Dragon Ball universe. If you think about it. No, he doesn't get enough. For, eh, no regard, I tell you. No regard. Eh. I don't. I don't like this. Like mishmashing Earthworm Jim into like a bunch of other stuff. You know, there's like a a trend in T-shirts to do that for a long time, where it's like it's, it's Mega Man, but it's also some cartoon, and then there's a play on words. Like, just give me the Mega Man shirt. I want the Mega Man shirt. Pretty good picture of Dimitri over here. Or was that his name? I can't remember. Mortal Kombat 2. I don't know why I'm reviewing children's art. Ooh, damn. I'll give this kid credit. This looks cool as heck. All right, all right. Jose Luis Hernandez. Dropping the good art. This, all right. Peter's saying, you gotta step it up. You're drawing Disney and mailing it into GamePro. It's like even... <laughs> it's like when your mom... Not that my mom ever did this, but I know moms did do this. You want to rent your kid a game, but you don't know what his console is. So you rent him the wrong game console game. Can't play it, mom. All right, so someone in uh, a forum, I was posting my video on a forum, just trying to generate some buzz. Remember, tell your friends and family. Yeah, Norm Rad streaming every Sunday at 9.30. Um, one of the people responded saying like, well, I don't think Phantom 2040 is worth a five overall in fun, but he did compare it to Metroid, Super Metroid, and that makes a lot more sense to me now. Cause I never actually, oh, here's my gamer card getting revoked. I never played any Metroid games. I didn't have Metroid on NES cause it was like a 1986 or maybe 87 title. Um, I only played it at like older cousin's house, but Super Metroid, I didn't have a Super Nintendo until well after that game came out. So I kind of missed it. I had no, I had no taste. I didn't understand. But this maybe makes more sense if you like Super Metroid. Oh damn! You know what? I did check, and I can play Virtual Boy games. Should we add another console uh, to the Rad Plays compendium? I think we should. Uh, what do I have to play it on again? It was something stupid. But. Oh, that's right. Mednaf. Okay. Mednaf is not stupid. Mednaf is rad. All right, guys. Here's the Virtual Boy was just coming out. That's a yet another console just coming out. Eh, some weird and wild stuff, guys. So we're going to play a couple of these games. And uh, it doesn't look the way. <laughs> we'll play Telero Boxer and maybe one other. I'll let you guys decide. We're going to dive in right friggin' now. Okay. Guess what? Well, what do we got here? We got Mario Clash, Tellero Boxer, and Galacto Pinball. Okay, I spelled that wrong. I'm supposed to say Galactic Pinball. Get off my back. Um, let's play some Tellero Boxer and hope that it all doesn't fall apart. We'll have to tone down these Air Buster jams. I know. All right, we gotta stretch this out. Bling blong. All right, that's probably as good as we're gonna get. Let's turn the games list off because I'm not a maniac. I did that once before. It was a, my bad, my B. Uh, so because we don't have 3D technology here, uh, it's gonna be purple and then red and blue just kind of show up. And there's no way to disable that. But this was the game. This was the one everyone's like, hey man, don't be sleeping on the Virtual Boy. 
Uh, man, the Virtual Boy's pretty good. Chellero Boxer's pretty good. We'll see about it. Oh man, I should actually let that intro play. What is... What is going on with the sound chip here? Alright. Alright, I don't want to spoil it. Get... Get... Alright, let's play. Play some Tellero Boxer. I don't know what a Tellero is. I played a little earlier. Is this a man? Am I fighting a man? Or is that me? 25-year-old man fighting Pagaru. Or Pagaro. So I guess his mouth would look kind of... So this is block. But, uh, oh, he smashed me good. Oh yeah, that's right. My triggers are... Hell yeah. Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. Oh, block. See that sick block? Alright, I don't know how to uppercut. This guy deserves the pain. No, I do not hate Balboa, but I pity the fool. Clever, any predictions for the fight? Pain. Okay, we're ahead. Alright, yep. Okay, yep. This seems, uh... Did anyone actually ever play the Virtual Boy? And this goes, if you're in the chat, feel free to let me know. But if you're in the archive just watching this, let me know if you played this. Was this good? Was this worth playing? Oh, lordy. No! Alright, how do you block the GD uppercut? Alright, we're ahead. We're ahead on the score. Take a break, guys. Take a sip of your mystery beverage. It was hot as frick today. 34 degrees Celsius, Celsius centigrade. Oh yeah. Oh, can't stand up to this. Oh, you can't handle it. Oh man, I came back guns a-blazing this round. Oh, now we're in trouble. Oh, he's figured me out. No, 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 no. All right, he won't expect going to the body now. Uh, bu 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 Okay, that's an illegal use of boxing. All right, no slapping me in the face, please. Oh, hell yes. You cheating now or did Doc hit your shoulder? Good, Optoman says in the chat. This is legit, all right? This is high level, world class Tellero Boxer play. He says he's never played the Virtual Boy before. You're in the same boat as me. I never played it either. There was one time I was at Toys R Us, and it was set up, and there was a couple of kids playing it, and they were ahead of me, and I debated whether or not I should, uh, you know, put my head in and, and check it out, but I wussed out, and I did not play it. I don't think I, uh, I think I made the right choice. Grand scheme of things, yeah? Alright, let's see if my left-right power move combo can work here. You can't handle this? Oh no, he's handling it. Alright, uh, I can't headshot him anymore. That was my bread and butter. I don't know how to punch low. I am in big trouble here. He has figured me out good. This is not ending well. Oh, he punched me in the stomach. <laughs> I can punch really, really high. Alright. What the hell? He's cranging his head, that's what <laughs> Optimon's saying in the chat. He is straight up cranging himself. I always thought Krang... Krang kind of reminded me of my grandma when I was a kid. You know, it's just kind of that, uh... He kind of looks like a grandma. Krang does. I mean, he's supposed to be like an uh, ominous uh, mastermind, but he just kind of looks jowly. Alright, this guy is beating my... Alright, I'll take it like a man, okay? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna punk out, alright? I'm not gonna punk out and just not take my lumps. Come back, come back, kid. Aim low for the love of Christmas. Why the hell? I don't understand how to punch low. Hey. Oh, hell yeah. All right, oh, we got one punch in. Hey, at least it's not a perfect. Hey, hey, hey. Class, classy, uh... Classy finish there. All right, that's Tellero Boxer. Let's do another real quick. I was thinking Mario Clash, but maybe Mario Tennis or Dream Tennis might be better. Red Alert. 
These are the games we have to choose from. This is, of course, the list for today. The games we're aiming to play. Um, let's see. All right, you know what? This looks like the premier uh, Virtual Boy game, Mario's Dream Tennis. So we're gonna check it out. You are worthless and weak. Amazing. Yeah, savage. I don't. I don't need that kind of abuse. I mean, I took my lumps. I'm not gonna pump your tires, though. No way. Ah, we got a new guy in the chat. We got a can of refresh seltzer. Cracks open a seltzer. What he says? Just a cool, refreshing seltzer, eh? I can't argue with that. Of course, the mystery beverage. First person to guess what I'm drinking earns one million rad bucks. Do not cash until the year 2040. Uh, here comes Mario's Dream Tennis. The dream of all boys and girls in 1995 was to play Mario's Dream Tennis. And we're gonna fulfill that dream for all of you little boys and girls in the chat. Strong start. All right. I just, mm, nothing about this is making me happy. All right, here we go. Watch out, 3D effect coming at you. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, the ball wasn't 3D, but the title is. What the hell are we doing here? Eat more cheese in the chat is saying Coca-Cola. Unfortunately, it is not Coca-Cola. Uh, the punishment for guessing wrong is you have to hold your breath until the end of the stream. We run a very uh, strict ship here. Of course, this is for your, your own good. Do not hold your breath until the end of the stream. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah, let it get right by you. Mario, you know, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, big whiffer. No, we got it. Freaking Donkey Kong Jr. All right, you gotta attack the net. That's the, that's the T, or the key here. That's the T here. All right, what is he? The greatest player in the world? Oh, yep, everyone takes two swings in actual tennis. Frick! Mario, 40 to nothing. Uh, big whiffer. That's a fault, though. All right. And here we have Mario. He's receiving the serve. That's uh, that's a big miss. That's a miss on Mario's part. That's game for Donkey. Um, his name is just Donkey, apparently. This is uh, game two um, in the set. Mario serving, of course. And he's going to hit a nice serve. Um, he's going to whiff it again. That's uh, unfortunate. Um, he's still serving. That's good. He's uh, he's in high spirits here. Um, he's looking to avenge that early loss, um, and he whiffed. That was another whiff. Uh, Mario, of course, uh, serving once again. He's gonna go for a wide shot here, and almost near misses. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr., of course, receives well, and oh, Mario taking two swings and still manages to uh, hit the ball back. Uh, this is an excellent rally, the rally of the game so far. Uh, it really looks like Mario has come to life here. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. is not relenting. And that's a whiff. That's another big whiff. Mario, once again, facing 40 to nothing. Uh, perhaps if he psychs out his opponent. Okay, attacking the net, of course, is the, uh, the strategy. And that's a whiff. That's another game. Mario down two games. Uh, that could be the set. I don't know the way tennis works. That's game three. Um, we're having a we're having a blast. Uh, nothing is gonna derail this train. Of course, you want to attack the net. Nope, that's uh, that's another fault. Mario trying some unorthodox tactics here, and that's a whiff. That's another whiff. This is game point. Uh, Mario looking like he wants he wants this one bad. He's he's recently watched the Michael Jordan documentary. He's feeling pumped, and that's a whiff. Um, that's game three. Um, this is, of course, the premier uh, virtual boy game. The dream of all boys and girls. Uh, that's another whip. 
uh, is to play this game in Toys R Us and not feel awkward or embarrassed. Um, that's a big ask. Uh, that's another whiff. Mario whiff. Uh, let's see what the YouTube chat is saying. Uh, we got some chat chatters. That's a double. That's a double swing on the serve, which is apparently a fault. Uh, Mario should know better than that. He's uh, he's been playing for years. And oh, he recovered. Yeah, apparently, you can take two whiffs. Uh, oh, he recovered again. I guess the, the the ticket is to stay far back. That's forty nothing. Mario has yet to score his first point. Um, he's not gonna let that discourage him. He's that's game. That's four games in a row for Donkey Kong. Um, uh, a worthy competitor, a savage competitor. Game five. What? Okay, we. <laughs> I think it just keeps going. All right, we got some people in chat here. Uh, my brother's in the chat saying, It's crazy how Mario is Nintendo's franchise face. He's a short, stocky plumber, and it totally worked. Nice work, marketing team. I know. When you go right back to the, like, the early days on paper, what were the, what were they, I don't know. That's, yeah, that's a tough, like, mascots weren't even a thing. I don't even know if mascots were a thing. I guess, you know, they had games like uh, Burger Time. They're like, I don't know. It's like a chef that runs over burger patties and they fall down. They, they weren't able to go high concept on the story. Uh, they had to basically... Pac-Man is a pellet with a face that eats other pellets. This is, this is high tech. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's the, that's the Virtual Boy. I don't want to derail my stream more than I already have. But we have to... Um, history demands that we play such games. As it does also demand we listen to Fred Couples at least once a stream, possibly more. Let's wake up the chat, everyone. This is Fred Couples on bass. We're gonna move on to the next page, which is uh, another game, actually. Hi, everyone. I don't know about you guys, but WrestleMania, Midway's WrestleMania, definitely passed me by. I did not play this game in the arcade. I don't know why. Um, I think I, like, maybe just stopped kind of watching wrestling at this point, so I didn't really, I wasn't interested, but the cast of characters in this game is fantastic. And I think, I think we're gonna have a delightful time playing it. This is back when it was the WWF still. I miss that. I don't like this WWE baloney. Not for me, no sir. So this is, of course, an arcade game. We're gonna be diving into play some arcade games. Let's dive back in. Um, well, let's get let's get situated first. How about that? W W no wait wrestle WrestleMania. So let's read this first, shall we? Let's just see what we're diving in for. When Midway first obtained the NBA license and proposed a game called NBA Jam, there was, there was some concern that a basketball game wouldn't be highly successful in the arcades. NBA Jam quickly blew away the skeptics, earning the game a prominent place in arcade history. And now history is set to repeat itself. Midway corners the WWF license and turns out a wrestling masterpiece. That's kind of a bold statement, because there was no shortage of wrestling games in the arcade up till now. Um, and this is basically Mortal Kombat. Is that the same people? Am I getting this wrong? Not as cold as it once was. Okay, at a glance, you can clearly see the WWF WrestleMania is one of the best-looking digitized games around. The amount of detail and color used in the game sets a new standard. Wow. WWF features eight of the biggest, baddest boys to kiss the canvas. Doink! You know what? They were like, you know what? Doink. This is a heavy hitter. Uh, of course, always accompanied by his friend, Dink the Clown. Uh, but I like this. They have Brett the Hitman Hart in the game. I feel like Brett the Hitman Hart was the unsung hero of all the WWF. Uh, he did not get enough credit. And it took me a while to realize, I don't watch wrestling now, but I've watched some documentaries over the years, and, uh, you know, for it to look good, you have to have a good wrestler, and Bret Hart was a great wrestler, and he made matches great, he made them entertaining, and he made wrestlers that were lesser, bigger, um, a bigger deal. So I don't know if I'm, uh, coming off loud in the chat here, so I'm gonna turn some stuff down. Could be clipping. I'm in the red. I shouldn't be in the red. Guys, am I in the GD Red? 
week. Uh, we got Optomon in the chat. He's saying, remember... Wait, first he's saying, Yokozuna. Hell yeah. I didn't realize Yokozuna was the title. A sumo wrestler gets when he's won something like eight tournaments in a row or something. I don't remember. Uh, and he remembers... <laughs> He remembers seeing him sit on and break Jim Hacksaw Duggan live. Wow. Oh! Hacksaw Jim Duggan, one of my all-time favorites as a kid. Yokozuna, not so much. All right, where am I? Am I clipping here? What the F? I'm, I literally have the same settings as last week. All right, if I'm loud, uh, someone in the chat let me know. Otherwise, we're moving on, and we're going to play as Brett the Hitman Hart. All right, so we did our research. We know what, what we're getting into now. It's time. Let me just make sure I don't have any. All right, we're good. Let's begin. Let's go, let's rock. All right, we don't need no more you. Uh, no tunes yet. Where's the tunes? Oh, that's right. This was the quietest game in the history of the world. Look, it's almost non-existent. This is about as loud as I can get it. I'm I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> this is it. Uh, Pre-game. Can I s sneak it with this? Desktop. Is this making it louder for you guys? Alright. Well, no. Alright. The quietest game in the world. Uh, I'll just regale you with, uh, speaking. Did I pick doink? Oh my lord, I don't want to be doink. Alright, well, that was my mistake. I was looking in... What? I got big clown hands. Alright, so apparently I'm a doink man now. And Bam Bam Bigelow. This was, like, after his return, right? Yeah, I'm sorry about the quietness of this game. Uh, we're just gonna have to enjoy... Uh, uh, oh, punch to the face. Here we go. It was, even the crowd is digitized. Man, I am smashing the hell out of Bam Bam Bigelow. All right, maybe, maybe Doink is the uh, maybe Doink is my new main. Press punch and kick together to run. Ah, that's good to know. All right, what is kick? Is that punch? No. All right. Whoop! And now I'm in big trouble. Oh, Doink is elusive. Whoop! And that's not gonna do. That's not gonna be good for anyone. Yeah, I don't remember that in the actual WWF, okay? Clowns. Not a big fan of clowns. Uh, we got off the mind in the chat saying, looks like Pit Fighter-ish. Yeah, you're right, actually. Uh, oh, Jesus. Pit Fighter was, I think, the first game to do digitized graphics. So, uh, definitely has that era of a look. What in the frick? Alright, that's fine. Maybe I should let Bam Bam take me out so I could do some uh, Brett the Hitman heart action here. I, for some reason, this is just the quietest, this is the loudest looking arcade game ever. Quietest game. They're like, hey, we don't want to upset anyone in the arcade. Way! Oh, he got me again. How come I can't do cool stuff like that? So I was uh, watching a Killer Instinct documentary uh, a couple days ago. There you go! There you got me. And I, uh, I never realized that um, what they did to make the game more appealing in the arcade, to give it that air of... Like, amazing, like, I gotta play that game. They made the game itself quieter, um, so, but they made the announcer really loud. So, the people, or the, you know, the arcade owners, when they're setting up the machines, they test it at the start, uh, to see what the volume level is, and they, they would test it for the music. Um, and then when they're in the game, like, here's the thing, they basically made the loudest thing in the game, not the music and the gameplay, but the announcer. So when you're testing the game and you're just hearing the music and, you know, casual gameplay and stuff, um, you set it to the volume you would think. But then secretly, when the announcer would come on, it would be like 6 dB louder. Ultra Combo! And then you'd hear that across the entire arcade and go, I have to play that. That looks awesome. Bret Hart. This might be one of the only WWF games I think he was actually in. I mean, poor guy. He wasn't even like... Was the WrestleMania game on NES? He wasn't even in that. I don't know if he was a wrestler at that time. He actually he might have been still in Stampede Wrestling, which is funny because my brother and I, uh, we grew up in uh, Calgary, Alberta, and that's where Stampede Wrestling was 
formed, and uh, Owen Hart and Bret Hart started there, and then went in the WWF. And I just remember Stampede Wrestling, oh my lord, 14 hit combo. Stampede Wrestling was like the poor man's WWF, and so you'd watch WWF, and then after that, you would see like a half an hour of Stampede Wrestling, and it was not as good <laughs> by any stretch. But we saw Bret the Hitman Hart before he was in WWF, so like it, it was harder to tell. Like, why does it just sometimes kind of suck? <laughs> Why is it sometimes really low budget looking? Yep, yep, just keep them coming. That's a sick combo. All right, I'm, I'm facing execution here. I'm the excellence of executed. All right, Bam Bam wanted it more. Remember Zodiac from Stampede Wrestling, my brother says? I don't remember Zodiac, I remember Jason. Remember uh, Jason Voorhees had like a spoof character? All right, so for some reason that was the quietest game in the whole damn world, so we're gonna move on to the next because I am not a I'm not a madman, okay? We have some standards here. I might be clipping, but I'm sure as hell not going to allow everyone in my chat to be listening to a quiet, tired game. All right, hell yeah. All right, something must have happened. I must have turned up something super loud before I hit stream. This is what happens when you're a streamer. Something to fix for next time. Oh, Zodiac and, and Jason were partners, my brother says. Ah, aha. I don't remember Zodiac. All right, so what's next? Let's keep on going. We got games to play. We got to, we got to go. So I was going to say we were going to play Air Combat today, but you know what? We played that in an earlier episode. I didn't realize. Dang. And we played Cool Riders in an earlier episode, too. So I guess these were overseas games that weren't here yet. Dang. But that's fine. Because there's a game in this issue. In fact, I should have mentioned this right up at the start. This issue of GamePro is the reason why I wanted to start doing this series. Um, because it has it has an article about Twisted Metal, which we will play. Um, that was the article that... One of the fun things about reading these magazines is you have nostalgia when you go back and look at them now to what you thought the game you were reading was going to be about. Like, you remember what you thought you were going to play? Whoa! And I... The at, the article for Twisted Metal got me. It got me big time. Hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. Tetsuo saying Bret Hart in Twitch chat. Loved the... The skit with him on Mad TV. Damn, I don't remember that. I'm going to have to look that up. Was he good? Did he nail it? I, I sure as heck hope so. I only wish the best for Bret Hart. He's kind of like a big, a big muscle-bound Polly Shore. Same like black uh, ramen noodle hair, slicked, just greased up from tippy toes, tip to taint, greased. All right, I guess we have to play Primal Rage first before we can dive into Twisted Metal. Uh, this is a this is an interesting game, an interesting game because. Digitized graphics were, they were just all over the place, and this was one where I don't think they made a good game, but it accidentally ended up being a good game. Um, people played it, you know? Like, people probably shouldn't have. We got a request in the chat from Optimon to zoom in on the artist's office. He knows apparently who Jason Leong is, who's the guy in the picture. I can do that. Let's zoom in, shall we? Uh, let me go. Let me go all the way full screen. Let's see how high fidelity we can get this. Anything ringing a bell here? Um, we also. Uh, oh no, I'm reading the wrong thing. All right, that's the office. So there's a big, big emphasis here on uh, this artist. Um, they talk to him a lot. He apparently. I can't remember. I read the whole article. Uh, started in high school and took art courses and thought he had the talent to draw comics. Okay, everyone who's young in the chat right now or in the archive, being a comic book artist was like a viable thing. Like that was in the 90s, like mid to early 90s. That was that was the equivalent of saying like, I want to be a streamer when I grow up. It's like, I want to be a comic book artist. I drew all the time. I wanted to be a comic book artist. Never even came close to it, but uh, this guy's obviously got some good chops, good art skills. 
Nah, he just, uh, Optima in the chat saying he just wanted to see his crazy art-filled wall. I can dig it. Oh, I can dig it. Man, it is hot as a barbarian's butt in here today. Uh, we're gonna play some games. Let's play... Oh, okay. Well, they do a big thing on... What? What in the hell? Alright, let's see the order here. Should we just play some stinking Primal Rage? I've already, I've already talked about it, so let's just... Let's just go back. I know this is not an ideal way to do this, but let's go back. I'm, I'm skipping ahead. This is awful. What a train wreck. I've derailed. Guys, just log off. We're just gonna log off right now. Uh, that's the stream, everybody. Just kidding. Uh, not ideal to be plowing through the magazine. Alright, I don't know where they actually talk about Primal Rage in this. They do at some point! Alright, you know what? <laughs> we're having some technical difficulties, so we're just gonna s stay here. Ah, there we go. Hey, everyone. I did it! So here's what they rated it. Um, foreign graphics, no. Not even close. Um, 3.5 in sound, 3.5 in control, and 4 in fun. I am highly dubious. But we're gonna play them right now. We're gonna do our due diligence, and we will play Primal Rage on Sega Genesis. In fact, ugh. Yeah, oh, why don't we start with Sega Genesis, because it's probably the... One of the ugliest looking games I think the Sega Genesis has ever produced. If I'm being honest. And I'm nothing if not honest to my viewers and my fans. Alright, not so bad yet, right? Uh-huh. God, listen to these sound effects. What did they give it? Guys, they gave it a 3.5 in sound. Wow. Look at this. I, uh... Look at the people in the background. Those look like Atari characters. Here's what the problem is, everyone. They just purely digitized the game. They didn't do a port. They just basically ran it through whatever they could to just make it look, like, digitized. So there's nothing I can do to actually make this look better. Like, if I... If I turn on, uh, let's say, a little thing to make it look like it's coming off a blurry screen. That's as good as I can make it look. Because these are some jagged pixels. Jagged. So, I only know how to play as Chaos, so I'm going to play as some Chaos for you guys. Alright, that's not bad. That stinger was okay. Yikes. No, okay, this looks bad. This doesn't even look good. I'm already blowing it. Uh, let's turn this effect off, because this is not doing it for me. But look at that. This is... You could carve a roast with it, how jagged this is. These sound effects are... Amazing. <laughs> and this soundtrack... Okay, like, this is surprising to me, because I never really played this game back in the day. I think I just kind of had a sense... Uh, I don't need to play that. Uh, let's see if I can do the fart move. Um, nope. It's like, hold down... All the buttons in this game are stupid, too. Like, oh, hold down two buttons and it'll be fine. Sick two-hit combo, bro. Alright, they're just cheesing Mortal Kombat here with the Frieza move. Alright. This seems loud. This is the loudest stream I may have ever done. We're gonna fix that right now. That's just oh right. We don't need that. Up six. That was for the quiet game ahead of it. All right. Here's a more sensible volume. All right. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna play one match in each game. It's like we were just impressed by the blood, you know? Oh man, this game has blood in it. Oh my god. And largely, that you know that was kind of the case. Ah. Ah. I think they had to shrink the characters too for this game because I think Blizzard is supposed to be bigger than Chaos. Alright, this is my round. I mean, this is... I might actually prefer playing Rise of the Robots over this, if I'm being honest. And Rise of the Robots is literally broken. This just feels offensive to me. Like... As a gamer, oh, all right, well. 
Hey, you know what? We try. Blizzard conquers. All right, guys. That was the Sega Genesis version. Now, let's see what the Super Nintendo version looks like. Uh, and let's see if it's any better. And then we'll see what they... Oh, no, we don't need to see what they say about it. I kind of like going as quickly as possible from one to the next. All right. That was Sega Genesis. This is Super Nintendo. Already a better title screen, I think. This looks cleaner. Odd that there's no sound. Alright, those are better. I'd have to say this looks better, right? Am I wrong? Like, it doesn't look necessarily like it's a direct... Like, digitization of the... The arcade version. Which we'll show you guys after this. Rage. We have to go rage. Sick three-hit combos. I mean... Yeah, I gotta tell you, this one plays a lot better. I might prefer playing this to, um... Rise of the Robots. Up, oh, and then, then. Alright, let's see if I can fart move. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, this is high level. I'm gonna take this one. Aced it. Whoa, bloody. We got stable tables in the chat on Twitch saying did a different studio do the NES or the SNES port? They must have. Yeah, I don't I don't think it was the same studio. I can't actually remember who did the Genesis one. But I don't know how you could be in the same studio and say, yep, these are equivalent. I mean it's still not great. I don't know where the hitbox is. The hitbox is all over the place. Jesus Blizzard. And I would love to show you guys with some of the special moves, but they're so ridiculous. They're like, hold down two buttons, then let go, then press two other buttons. Like, uh, We're going to round three. It's fine. We can take this. Ray. Domination. Oh, ace. Flying elbow. Macho man. That. That. Sometimes you gotta put yourself in the corner. Be unpredictable. Oh, I somehow did a special move. And I don't know what I did. Uh, wait. Is it... Uh, uh... No, okay. I blew it. <laughs> it's such a stupid fatality. To do his fatality, the one where he pees on the guy, you have to hold down two buttons, then tap down, then hold the other two buttons at the same time, then press left, right, left, right. Why don't they just make it a button? Why do they make it so damn secret? All right, so that was the Super Nintendo version. Now, let's actually see what the game was supposed to look like. Because this is the cover game, it's on the cover, let's do our due diligence. Um, full warning though, um, this game is not running especially well. So, uh, don't expect it to work really well, it'll just look better. See, yeah, it says there's some sort of corrupted thing with the game. It's fine. Let's get the games on the screen. All right, hell yeah. We're already like, yeah, okay. Maybe this will be a super quiet game too, hopefully not. The future, civilization died in the catechism, cataclysm, the uh, from the death, the breast, o old earth, who will rule in the new earth? Huh? All right, takes place in the future, I guess. Right, can we get some sound? God damn it. Alright. Still looks awfully grainy. And that could be because it's kind of broken, but... Uh, as they stated, it's a little bit broken, but... Much bigger sprites. Go rage. Wait, how do I do my fart move? Ah, dang it. I already forget. Or is it, like, hold down? There we go. Yeah, that's for... Chaos is just kind of gross. Kind of a gross guy. Um, you know what? We can probably turn this up a bit. See, I don't know why this arcade game is way louder. But I will try and get the fatality here. Even if I have to save state it. Whoa! Anti-air. Yep. Alright, we're taking this. Not like that. Not like this! Oh, I just did some sort of move. Ah, I missed my fart move. I don't... 
I don't know what's happening there. I punched that T-Rex in the face. How oh, I roll? Go rage. Damn, these anti-air moves are unstoppable. Literally, 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 I have to hold down X and triangle to do this fireball. And as far as I know, just squiggle on the D-pad. Whoa. Evo. Evo 2021, I'm coming. Yo, no one can stop these strats, man. Well, yeah, maybe Sauron can. All right, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I should not do. Just gonna save it so that we can see the fatality. There's no reason to play this game if you don't see the peeing fatality. All right, here we go. What? Did I, did I win? Did I not get to see the fatality? What in the F is going on here? All right, we're going back. The game denied me a fatality. And I can't live with that, no. What is happening? What in the hell? Oh, time out. Jesus. Alright, apparently I gotta play faster. I'm not fast enough, guys. And then I save state too, so... Wait. No. Oh, chaos versus chaos. Yeah. That, that, that. I want a fighting game where you can do two jump kicks in the air. No, 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 no. I know that's ridiculous, but I'm a ridiculous man. The difficulty really ramps up when you get to the second character in the game. I noticed that while I was testing it out. This was the cover game, you know? That's very strange. And you guys saw the console versions. There. Oh, he farted in my face. And he's combo crazy. Then. All right, we can only hope that he pees on me then. This is gonna be a tough one. All right, we need vengeance. Anti-air double punch. Ah, he farted in my face again. Not the only one who can fart in people's face. All right, he is beating the bejesus out of me. I, uh... Oh, and he farted in my face again. All right, do the move. He did not do the move. Well, this is a conundrum. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what? I'm gonna do this. I was saving the other day. Let's just play from here. Hey, hey. All right, hold the two buttons down, tap, then hold left, right, left, right. I get it. Nope. All right, we're gonna get this, guys. There's no, there's no reason to play this game if you don't do the P fatality. All right, here we go. Hold two buttons down, tap, hold two, left, right, left, right. There we go. And there we go. That was the state of video games in 1995. That's it. That's Primal Rage in a nutshell. I mean, you really don't need to do any more with Primal Rage. So we won't. Let's move on. Uh, wait. We can do better. Oh, damn. Oh, song's just ending. What in the hell? Okay. Hey, good tunes, everybody. Welcome to the stream if you're new. Uh, welcome to the stream if you're in the archive. Uh, feel free to subscribe, that'd really help me out a lot. Also, uh, I know everyone says this, but hit the bell. Click the bell, because that way it'll tell you when I'm coming online. Otherwise, you'll never know. Although, you should know, every Sunday, 9.30, I'm here. Eat more cheese in the chat is saying, P fatality, worth it, hell yeah. That was it. That was the big deal about Primal Rage. Alright, what? My microphone is just super loud. 
know what the hell happened, guys. Uh. Alright, so... Did they mention anything in the magazine about how awful the Genesis game is? Primal Rage stops, uh, stops from the arcades to the Genesis without even denting the plastic on the 16-bit hardware. <laughs> Finger snarling controls leave a scratch or two, but solid arcade gameplay and respectable graphics will snare fighting fans. That is a GD lie. We were lied to! This is how some wars get started, you know? Jesus. The song is almost all the way quiet. Oh, that's right, because I had to turn it up. Alright, still learning. I don't have a really normal setup for my stream. So I run everything through Cubase. That is not normal. Did I crank this up or something? No. Did I crank you up? No. Weird and wild stuff. Let's carry on. As long as no one's complaining, it can't be that bad. Uh, a few control hitches uh, mar the fun, but this otherwise solid version of Primal rages on the Genesis. No, it doesn't. That's a very bad game. And you guys lied to some very good people. Um, they say the Super Nintendo version... Uh, Four in sound, four in control. Gee whiz. Um, do they mention how the fatalities got changed? Well, maybe they have some of the fatalities listed at the end of the issue. You know, what? I'm just gonna we're gonna skip ahead so I can show you what the damn fatality is. Okay, here's the one that I did. Golden shower. Hold HQ, LQ, tap down, continue holding HQ and LQ, and press HF and LF as well. Then tap left, right, left, right. Um, it's actually easier than it sounds, but at at the first, or like as soon as you see it, it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Um, we got Eat More Cheese saying if I press the bell, it turns notifications off. You should be more careful. Are you already hitting the bell? What? Or did they actually legit change it? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just know no one no one gets the messages when I go live. Which is a shame. Because we're having a great time here, everyone. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get responsible here and drink a little water. It is smoking hot in here. Blah. All the ice cubes have melted. That's just ice cube tasting water now. Let's dive in where we left off, everyone. Um, I don't need you guys to see me go back through the magazine. Hi. These are some sensual tunes. Um, let's slow it down. I don't want anyone having a bad time. We're all about good times in this chat. This stream. Everyone dancing back there. We like to tone it down every now and then. It's a slow dance. This goes out to everyone in the chat. And Fred Couples. Alright, let's get to the right part of the magazine. I'm actually just doing this so you guys don't see me scroll through the magazine again. Oh my. Alright. Here we go. Welcome back. So that was Primal Rage in the arcade, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis. Oh my. All right, we don't need to do that anymore. The song's over. The song's over, fun's over. Is that the last song in the playlist? Nope. Oh, here's some nice tunes. We'll keep it slow and, j and jazzy. Mortal Kombat came out last month, guys. I don't know why they're advertising it again. Mortal Kombat is out in theaters last month. Kind of a weird thing to have in your magazine. 
Killer Instinct, though, damn, Super Nintendo version was ripping, screaming hot. It plays better than the arcade version. So here's the the piece de resistance of this issue. Um, PlayStation had just come out. God damn, September 9th. God damn. Under the hood, the PlayStation's uh, game planning power comes from the good old American know-how. LSI Logic Corporation in Milpitas, California, designed and manufactured a system's custom CPU microchip, which consists of three high-performance processors, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all garbly goop, right? I wonder what used the uh, PS mouse. For that matter, the combat cable. I know you could plug in... Bushido Blade had a special map that was only playable on the uh, the cable version. Two consoles, two TVs. No one had that. I always wanted to see that level, though. So we've already played ESPN Extreme Games. Dang it. Blades of Rage is not a real game. It didn't come out. Shucks. I looked it up. They just there's no information about it. This did not come out. Now, I don't know if Air Combat is the same. This high-flying PlayStation shooter arrives on the PlayStation uh, with all its arcade features. Okay, so it is just Air Combat 22. Okay, good. Destruction Derby. Jumping Flash. Team 47 Goman did not come out. And, oh my god, Primal Rage. I have to play it. No. This is the Primal Rage issue. God damn it. Guys, god damn it. I only just... I'm just gonna turn it on to see what it looks like. If I have it. I did not anticipate playing that game today. That game. I did not have relations with that woman. I did not anticipate playing that game. No, I don't have it. Okay, that's probably for the best. I mean, I could get it. I have the means, but I've never done it live on stream. So I won't. I'm sure it looks arcade precise, but... I'm debating here. Okay, this was it. Destruction Derby and... Twisted Metal. These were the two games that I was like... Oh, okay. I absolutely have to buy the PlayStation. I have to for Twisted Metal. So we're gonna read this article, this Twisted Metal article. Because this is the one. This is the one that got me to... We need to amp it up. We need to amp up the energy in this stream. They're talking to Dave Jaffe, the uh, lead developer, the lead uh, designer. Alright, let's turn this up. All right. Of course, oh, he's an associate producer, okay. With Twisted Metal, we were inspired more by movies than other games. Our main goal was to create that adrenaline rush as if you were in Road Warrior, T2, or an old Spielberg movie called Duel. Already that was, when I'm reading this as a 13 year old, I was, my head was spinning because this was movies and video games coming together We've, we'd have arrived, you know, that's what it felt like. From a gameplay standpoint, we wanted to go beyond, or to get beyond, rock and roll racing. Which was an amazing game, but it limited you to simple tracks. To us, a great car chase would have camera cuts, a varied terrain so that you could leave the track and drive through tunnels and across parks. That line right there, across parks. That resonated with me, and I started thinking in my head, literally driving across, like, open forests, and I was, that's what I have nostalgia for. In my head, I still remember exactly what I was picturing when I read that. That's a special thing. That's why this is a special issue of this magazine, and we've, so far, only played a bunch of Primal Rage. Uh, it's fine. Um, he later goes on to say, we wanted to give the player total environmental freedom as they rammed and chased. Total environmental freedom. This was not what we had up until this point. We literally had invisible walls, blocked in stuff. We didn't have go anywhere, do anything. That was not a thing yet. Not a buzzword, you know? 
Uh, oh wait, and chased and shot at other cars. Twisted Metal has four overall worlds. The first one is intentionally quite small because we wanted gamers to get used to the controls on the vehicle. You're in an underground rave club arena going head to head against another vehicle. You destroy ramps and crates, plus you can shoot missiles into the stands. That's another thing. There was a game for Super Nintendo called uh, Shadow Run, and this, right now what they're describing to me, I'd only ever seen in Shadow Run, which was a cyberpunk game, top-down, sort of isometric view. It's a role-playing game, um, and it always stood out to me that you could, sh A, shoot your own teammates, which is crazy, like, turn, just turn around and shoot them with your gun. And B, you could shoot people who were just sitting on a park bench reading a newspaper, like businessmen. And I used, I used to find that hysterical, because this was before Grand Theft Auto. And I'm sure if, if many of you watching are around my age, um, Grand Theft Auto, do you remember just, like, passing the controller around to friends and seeing how many people you could maim and destroy before the police got you? That was just what you did with Grand Theft Auto. But before Grand Theft Auto, you shot a guy reading a newspaper, um... Uh, because that was like, wow. What they just described here, um... Shoot a missile into the stands. You're like, wait, so you can... You don't have to follow the rules? Like, you can actually do insane things? Crazy! Um, even though, uh, after I played the game, you'll see that shooting missiles into the stands doesn't actually do anything. But the fact that they mentioned that is like... This game is going to be game-changing. Once you destroy your opponent, the doors open and you're out in this giant 3D world. The second world is Los Angeles in the year 1990, or sorry, uh, 1995, in the year 2005. The future. Uh, broken up into three distinct areas. You'll see freeways, parks, alleyways, and warehouse districts. And you can go pretty much anywhere you want. I do want to go anywhere I want, but it keeps going, guys. Also, check out this picture. Uh, sorry. Check out this picture. Inside the car view. What the hell? Alright, so you see this. You can actually see them driving around a suburb here. You see the houses and the roads. And when you're looking at this, you actually imagine it being endless. Like, you really can drive anywhere. Now, it ends up being a lot smaller than you would think, but still, pretty big. So what else do they say here? Parks, alleyways, and warehouse districts, blah, 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 blah. As the game progresses, the levels get bigger and bigger. So by level 3, Suburbia, you're off in a 3D world with an area of 8 square miles. It's so big! We included LA's water canals, freeways, and churches because we wanted, or we really wanted, to bring the gameplay home to the player. It's not set in outer space, it's not set in your backyard, or it's set in your backyard, sorry. It, it, do not change to another channel. It's set in your backyard. Um, you can do things like spin donuts in the high school parking lot or have shootouts in front of the 7-Eleven. Guys, they're describing the best game in the world at this time. And that's no joke. The last level is on top of a skyscraper. Or is uh, on top of skyscrapers in downtown LA. You jump your vehicle across rooftops leading up to this really interesting, never before seen enemy that has a surreal nightmarish exterior. Included in Twisted Metal is some of the twisted fantasies that most drivers in LA have, such as running over ice skaters, destroying a Salvation Army Santa Claus, and knocking down pedestrians. And then they mention the Santa Claus thing is because they want this to be available by Christmas. Um, funny enough, I bought this game for Christmas before I had a PlayStation. That's how that's how big of an effect this article had on me. I said, I just need to have it. I knew my friend had a PlayStation, so I would bring it over to his house. But like, even when you look at this, this screenshot here, yeah. Look at the background here. You can't really see what you're looking at, but to me, this background looked like that scene in Terminator 2 when they were driving uh, to the, I don't know, the, the lava warehouse. I don't know what the hell was there, like a steel mill. This looks like that, and you just picture like an endless road. Obviously, there's a truck there as well. And they mentioned T2 in the thing, so they know. All right, what else we got here? Uh, bah, 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 bah. They mentioned the cars, all handle differently. They can all do T-stops, whatever that is. 
360 degree turns, bootlegs, jumps, and ride briefly on two wheels. I'll, uh... Twins. Arnold Schwarzenegger in Twins. Another, uh... Fine Arnold Schwarzenegger franchise. Okay, so, guys, I'm gonna play the hell out of Twisted Metal right now. And I did that on an earlier stream, a much earlier stream, before I was doing the Rad Reads flavor. We're gonna play some Twisted Metal, and we're gonna play every damn level. And we're gonna relive 1995, September 1995. The, the issue, the issue that got me to be a PlayStation Superboy, Super Fanboy, Superboy? I, hi, I'm PlayStation Superboy. Um, you know what they don't mention though in the um, in that article is all right. Let's get the gameplay going here. Ba boom, ba boom. All right, I had to shrink it to play the last game. Eh, 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 eh. Wait, can I make it bigger? Nope. Don't push your luck. All right. Oh, by the way, my chair makes rumbling sounds whenever I have to lean back and forth. It's boiling hot. So if you hear any rumbling, I'm not doing my best chaos impression, okay? You get uh, blackmailed with this in the future. Jesus. All right, is this loud? No. Uh... All right. That's good. That's good. Okay, so what they didn't mention in the article was just how insane the soundtrack is. Poor little young Norn Rad slash Matt Creamer of Matt Creamer Audio didn't have a CD player. All he had was a PlayStation. So he would play this song. Get home from school in grade eight. 13 year old, sit cross-legged on the floor and listen to this song coming out of my TV from my PlayStation. That's a hell of a riff. God damn. God damn, that's a hell of a riff. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe break my own rules here, but I'm, I'm gonna turn my mic down. I think this thing is just crazy loud. What do you think of that? Is that better? Am I breaking all the rules now? Um, that's what I get for going off the cup live. All right, sorry. Uh, we don't need you guys to relive every shred of my childhood. But that is what I would do, legit. Let's play the game. God damn. God damn. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna turn it back up. I wussed out, because I can't hear it in my own headphones. God damn, something, something messed up. All right, who should I play as? Um, Warhawk might actually, or Warthog might be the one to go for. Dark Side's a good one for the early level. Sweet Tooth as well. Maybe I'll just be, no, uh, I'll be Dark Side. Guys, I'll be dark side. All right, let's play. Let's see car info first. Mr. Ash. Sounds like he wants some pretty nefarious stuff. All right, select. Who are they pit pitting me against? Who do I got? Going for roadkill. We got this. Up, oh, and I better get my act together. That's what I like about Darkseid, is he does damage to guys just by crashing into them. Where the hell is he? Oh, I gotta check my radar. Alright, not my best work. Okay, L2 is fire. I got enough goddamn fire missile. Where's this son of a gun? Um, there? No. Is that him? Alright. Clearly what's missing is that I'm not doing uh, this. 
Hell yeah. I'm at max carrying capacity. Jesus, this guy is actually giving me the business. Alright, not the, not the best idea I've ever had. Right, let's go one further back. Yeah, now you're in trouble. Yeah, you just gotta crash into him. Because I don't think he takes damage from crashing. I need, I need to put some distance between him and I. So that I can turn around all the way. And actually fire something at him. Read my mind, man. Now we got him. See how much damage that did? Yep, 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 yep. Well, it's hard to chase this guy down, that's for sure. Can't crash into him again because I don't have enough health. Boom! All right, that was a close call, but we did it. All right, so fun fact: as soon as you're done that battle, they open the doors literally, and the level. If you'll notice, that's the warehouse I was just in. All right, so here's the song I forced you all to listen to at the start. Let's go back inside the truck. Whoa, why does he got backward shots? Alright. Dumper Thumper. <laughs> we always called him Dumper back in the day. That's the one guy you don't wanna go head on with. Alright, let's go inside the cockpit. I just like the way this looks. It's not good for playing the game, but Yeah. Oh damn, I got someone chasing me. I don't know who you're messing with, Yellow Jacket. <laughs> He's doing damage to himself just running into me. No, I don't want to be in the... Okay, there we go. Alright, where am I? I know there's some health around here. Oh, he dodged me. No, 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 no. He got a special move on me. Alright, there's some health down here. Let's grab the health. Hell yes. This is pure chaos, goddamn. Alright, so this is actually, you know how the song just changed there? The further away I got from people, the song uh, changed. That's a really early game to be doing that. I don't know of any other game that did that before this one. I'm sure there is one. Oh, Crimson Fury, you messed up, dude. Huh? Dang it, I got a serpentine here. All right, we got some homing missiles. Let's go. You're dead. All right, now Dumper's one to watch out for. If I can freeze him. Wait, I need to get out of here. I need to get out, get my turbos. Go get the other health. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now it's down this road. Get my turbo and my health. All right, I'm gonna freeze him and smash him. The old freezing smash. Okay, I blew it. Hit it. High level play. Evo, here we come. All right, let's go back to the YouTube chat, see if anyone's talking. Uh, no, we got no one in the chat. All right, we're just gonna keep playing then. Uh, here we go, five enemies. This is usually where I start blowing it. Oh, Jesus. Yellow jacket, I don't know what you're trying to get out. Yeah. Look how quickly I just dispatched with the guy that has medium health. I know that- oh, Spectre, you're in trouble too. You got bad health too. What the, 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 the. You gotta admire the 
the heart on Spectre to come and fight me even though he knows he can't crash into me. Alright, he's not dead yet, but I need the help. Alright, he killed himself. Did not know who you were messing with. Alright, what do we got? 13 fire missiles. So this was actually on the back of the PlayStation box. This image right here. And I remember just thinking, you can go up a hill? That was a big deal. Going up a hill? Oh, I, oh hammerhead's not a good idea to go head on with. Yeah, he totally wussed out. That's good AI. Alright, he's got the he's got the straightaway there. I don't want a piece of that. No, that was a bad idea. Oh no, we got sweet tooth as well. Get the hell out of there. Help. Alright. Sweet tooth and Did I dodge him? No, they're sitting there waiting for me. Get the F out. No! Alright, I got no more turbo. That's not good. Alright, what do we got here? Specials? Do I have homing missiles? Yes, I do. Alright, well then send them out. Let's go! Oh, this is a great spot to be in. Great spot to be in. Alright, alright. Well, I have three lives. They're gonna take one from me, but that's fine. They're gonna take it, but that's fine. My brother's in the chat saying, man, this game was so epic. I used Spectre, I think. Spectre had the missile that could go through walls and just like, it's an ultimate homing one. If that sounds familiar. Ah, there's rear firing missiles. That's how they're doing it. All right, Sweet Tooth is gonna come here and eat four rear missiles. Man, these goddamn civilians are killing me. Oh no, I'm out of rear view missiles. Oh, do you guys see that precision high octane maneuver? That, 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 that. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. That was not my best idea. I don't have any weapons though. Get the F out. Serpentine. See if there's any weapons over here. Man, Hammerhead is such a hard one to deal with for this character. I don't need more landmines. God dang. One special? It's not gonna cut it. I don't have a lot of weapons here. They keep giving me like the ones that you drop behind you. That's not gonna do me any good. What we got here? Might as well get the health. Who's left? Who is left? Alright, I got enough to do it. I think in Twisted Metal 2 you would get health if you ran people over. Oh, he's not coming after me. He knows better. It's fine. Whoop. Nice, he's actually waiting over there. Oh, as soon as you poke. Oh, no, 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 no. Did it. You gotta have freeze missiles. You can't take me on head on. It's not gonna work. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, meet your opponents. Okay. Greetings, gentlemen. This was the level that you could run over the Santa Claus in. I'm not gonna do that yet. It's too hot. That zone is too hot. Need some better weapons. Wait, is that a secret tunnel? I forgot about that. Oh my lord, no! Damn it, Sweet Tooth got me before I could get in. Now he's just dealing damage. Yeah. Alright, well there's the first health station. Good to know. 
right. Give me something good. Oh, okay. There's nothing good at all in here. Oh, they were waiting for me. Oh, Jesus, sweet tooth. All right. We'll, we'll health up. This is not a good start. Need some weapons. Dang it. And not these landmines. God damn. These are doing nothing for me. All right, you, and what, bounce pads? That's not gonna do anything for me. Oh, I would have taken Mr. Grimm to school. Hell yeah! Oh, right in the drink. All right, so you hear the song changes, gets slower. What is this, is this something good? I do not want any more bounce pads, god damn it. All right, all right, all right. We need some weapons, this is the big problem here. I got no weapons. If you're gonna go head on against me, I'm gonna smash you, brah. Oh, or I might be the one to get smashed. I need some help. Pretty bad here. Ay, 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 ay. Did it. All right, live to fight another day. All right, I thought there was a guy right behind me. Oh, no, he must have gone through the tunnel. What a rowdy soundtrack. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought that was a rear view missile. I don't know why I keep calling it rear view. Whoopsies. Yeah, you're gonna... Take some damage if you come head on against me, pit viper. Honestly, where the F are all the weapons? Um, any down here? Nope. There's not much I can do until I get the weapons. What is this, power missiles? Come on. Alright, that's not bad. Yikes. Oh, that was actually a, a baddie. I don't know what you're trying to pull. Get out of there! No! Out of there! No! All right, safe for now. Um, we're gonna cut across the water. Try and stay alive. taken out by anything. Even a stupid idiot on the side. God damn it. Whoa, Alexei Mironov is back in the super chat. Welcome back. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching the stream. And good morning to thee. What time is it there? Right now, oh, look at this. Riding across an ice rink. I remember that was also a big selling point. Like, this game is next level. Uh, right here, it's 11.15. Do a bit of a late night stream. Bit of a late night streamer. Uh, no, no. All right, where are we at? Man, there are so many guys still alive here. All right, give me a weapon. This has to be a weapon. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, stupid pit viper. All right, a little slow down. Oh, we survived. All right. Oh, I just missed him. I need something better. All right, who's who's been dogging me? Freaking sweet tooth. Could I get a fire missile to save my life? Oh no, there's no health anymore. All right, that could be a problem. Ooh, got something there. All right, little freeze missile never hurt anybody. Oh, damn it, it's not homing. Wow, I just wrecked both of those guys pretty good. No! Just get to the corner. There's got to be something down the corner. Is there anything on the map for healing? 
Oh my lord, these little enemies are gonna kill me. No, 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 no. All right, we're, no, 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 no. Okay, I was 10, I was actually like curled over there. What do we got? Fire, special, don't need that. That is all I got, honestly. Ah, son of a butt. All right, this is gonna be, it's gonna be close everyone. 9 a.m. there, Alexei says. Early riser. Whoa, oh, no, damn, that was my last life. All right, well, you know what? With the power of technology, we're going to skip to the next level. It's worth showing you guys all the levels. And we're gonna pick up uh, a little more speed on this one. I'll do like my brother said. I'll be a little specter. Um, options. Good old passwords, man. Uh, we're gonna go to Cyberbia. X square. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Go. Uh, Alexei, you missed it a little earlier, but I was mentioning this issue of GamePro Magazine was the issue that spawned my, uh, the inspiration to make this particular series, not just random play any game I want, but specifically read magazines and play the games. Because the article they wrote about this particular game, uh, set my mind on fire. Just on fire. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. Let's go. So, of course, in that article, they say, Oh, you could do donuts in the school parking lot, or... Hell yeah, do some donuts in the school parking lot. Oh, lordy. This car is a lot faster. Whoopsie doodle. Accidentally closed my screen. Alright, I just want to see what inside of Spectre's car looks like. Ah! I seem to recall, um, is this thing open? No. One of these things open. I seem to recall one of the cars has like a thing that dangles from the, one of these things opens up to, yeah, there we go. It's like, you just, you get killed trying to find weapons. Oh my god, look at that radar. This is not good. This is some intense slowdown too. Alright, let's go farther back. That guy sitting in his lawn chair, like, what the F is going on around here? Don't worry about it, all right, Gramps? We're just doing some car combat. All right, the big thing with Spectre is you gotta stick and move. All right, I gotta get, I gotta get closer, though. All right, now I can start firing some of my specials. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Get the F out of here. What do I got here? Do I got fire? Ooh, I got power missiles. Alright. See if anyone's on the freeway. Is that the guy? I got him with it. Whoa! This is pandemonium. This is actually exactly what they'd advertise. It's nice when a game works out like that. Jesus, this game might be loud, eh? Uh, wasn't loud earlier. Oh no! Holy lord, it is going off in here. It's good though, since I have such a fast car, I can kind of get away. Ah, poor Crimson Fury. Such an easy target. Oil slick. Stop hitting Crimson Fury. He's like the only guy with defense as bad as mine. I'm a real rascal. Can I get up here? Hell yeah. What are those rear view missiles? No, where's my specials, damn it? Ah, oh, there goes a waste. 
All right, no way he can catch up to me though. Nice. It was late, but it got him. I don't know what this oil slick's gonna do for me. Rear flame. Okay, I have nothing but stupid power-ups. Whoopsies, that's not good. All right, I should probably go find some help. And there's some right out here. Get in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I'm trying to freeze that guy. I can't do anything. Hey oh. Yeah, though, you know. Don't deny the uh the little pea shooter. It can do some damage if you can keep the keep the reticle targeted. Get the fire missiles for the love of Christmas. Oh, get there. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yep, hit the only tree in the way. Hey, we want some more landmines? No! You want some freeze missiles? No! Freeze missiles seem better if you're gonna be ramming into people. I'm gonna just die from smashing my car around. All right, where's the closest? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Closest health station. This is quite chaotic. I don't know if I can make this turn. Made it. All right, we got four fire missiles. We gotta make them count. No messing around. No mistakes. Found the gas station. It's so funny how choppy it plays with all these guys in this map. I guess they pick up power ups too, because there's really nothing floating around here. Oh, thank goodness the song is slowing down. That was like a good 10 minutes of just non stop, pure, hectic craziness. And we're back. Eh, eh, not a good idea to ram head on into that guy. Don't you dare be rear view missiles. Ah, oh, he got me. Son of a butt. That's fine. That's what my uh, C++ teacher always used to say. It's fine. Get like a thick accent. What? Oh, you know, I say, is it understood what I'm saying? Like, Albert, I don't know what the hell you're saying. Between the accent and the like. C++ went over my head quite badly. He was my favorite teacher, though. Hell yeah. All right, this is going to take a while. You guys, are you guys even shooting each other? Jesus. I mean, that's kind of why I like playing his dark side, because he can finish people really quickly, but you can't really get away from the danger. Um, I guess I got to go for it. I got to go in the middle. Jesus, who's shooting at me? got two fire missiles. That is not enough. Not enough to get the job done. Um, all right. Let's go over here. Take a turn. I cannot believe Crimson Fury is still alive. Now with aim like I have, maybe it makes sense. Get there. Damn it. Someone already got the goods. Whoa! Things are popping off over here, man. Alright, okay. Where the hell are all the power-ups? What is that? Don't you dare be rear missile. Oh, good. I got the rear missile. I bet that's rear missile as well. Just give me fire. I need fire. Alright, alright. Jesus, Darkseid doesn't even have a dent taken out of him yet. I might have to like, whoa! Might have to just bypass this level. I'm like concentrating now, just trying to get the job done. Whoa! 
There you go. I'm sure these landmines will stop them. Now I'm, I'm le legit just out of everything. Well. You know, uh, Alexei said he never owned a PS1, but this looks fun even today. It is fun. I'm actually enjoying this a lot, and I would actually play the rest of this level at this pace, like methodically, just to try and win. But I don't know if that makes a great stream. We're gonna see if we can kill a couple more guys here, and then just, uh, oh Jesus, Crimson Fury has gotta go. I smashed him. Dark side is still just, oh lordy Jesus, Lord Jesus. All right, where the hell is the health? Um, doesn't look like a lot of health. Well, I'm not gonna go out there. Mr. Grimm is out there. All right, all right, all right. Play this level for a little longer, then we'll do the final level. All right, come on, there's gotta be some power-ups out here. Yes. For a character like mine, I need power missiles. Because they do the most damage, but they don't have any homing. So you gotta basically just ram into someone. What do we got here? Yay. Oil, yay. This is not helpful. I'm just gonna use these now. They're not gonna do anything for me. I don't know where I got the power missile from. All right, Pip, like, you're asking for it. Your ass is grass. Whoops, that's not my best move. Ah! Oh. Do I get to carry my missile over? Eh, uh, no, son of a butt. All right, dark side, take this. Oh, he froze me, no! Like how I can go faster backwards than he can go forward. Still has a hell of a lot of health. All right, if I blow this car up. Look, give me something. All right, no. Whoa, Sweet Tooth just did the business on Darkseid, and they're doing the business on me, Jesus Christ. Can't find any health. I know the health stations recharge, but uh, I've only used one, I think. There's one. All right, is the other one over on this side? Uh, yes. Oh, we got lots of health over here. Cyberbia, hi! No, no, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, here's all the damn power-ups. All right. Oh, and I missed it completely. And here's another landmine. And some rear view shooter missiles. It's not gonna cut it, no! All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, da, da, da. All right, this is what we want. Wide open space. There's absolutely no, and that is exact opposite of what you want to do. Do not do as I do. I'm having trouble just not hitting stuff. All right, god dang. All right, all right. This is looking better. Big straightaway. That's good. I can take Dark Side out. That'd be a huge win. Whoop. Uh, these poles have got to go. It's poor game design to leave poles everywhere. They should have just let you drive through them. Because now what I have to do is literally tap the button. I'm going too fast to control my guy. Okay. Now Dark Side's behind me. He's coming after me. I want dark side. Bring me holy field. This is dangerous. Dangerous place to be. Coming after me. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
that Warthog getting in the action. Go, Dark Side, go! Get him. Did I take him? Oh my lord. And then. I would, I would totally stop and get these power-ups, but I cannot make those turns. I do have the character with the second worst defense in the game. I gotta stick and move. Alright, Jesus. Let's take a breather real quick. Whoa. God damn. Oh, we're back at it already. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Right, let's go get this health. Turn around and kick some ass. I'm trying to line myself up. Oh, thank goodness. No, 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 no. Get it. Oh, yeah. Bounce pads. Got my maxi pads. All right. What is that? I need to just get rid of these things. There is still so many enemies in this level. Oh my god. No, 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 no. All right, are they on the freeway? Because that's where I can excel. Literally. <laughs> One down. Yay. All right. Oh, that oil? That does nothing for me. God damn. Turbo, though. Eh? I could use some turbo. I could use... There we go. Sorry, I know I'm spending a lot of time on this game, everyone, but... In the archives, we'll look back on this one. Oh, no. You're dead, sweet tooth. Ah, ah, all right. Okay, the bruisers are down. That's big. That's very helpful. All right, where? Oh, I thought Darkseid was dead. God dang it. Damn it. <laughs> He's not dead. Oh, Jesus. Hammerhead's still in here. All I have is these damn landmines. All right, homing is good. We want the homing. Down four, remain. I like how the cars stay dead after you kill them. Now I'm in trouble. Frick! That is the one good thing about Spectre and Crimson Fury. You can get the hell out of there. Find some GD weapons. Am I right? No, I don't want back on the freeway. There's nothing good out there. Oh, Lord. And Jesus, Lord. Nope. That was a mistake. That was a big, big mistake. I wanted that power up, though. All right. They are all over my asshole. I don't... I try to keep this family-friendly stream. I'm not sure. Is ass? Oh, lordy. Is ass a swear? Asshole sounds like it's vulgar. I apologize for that, everyone. All right. Let's pull some evasive maneuvers here. This game brings out the worst of me. Oh, where did I get the power missiles from? Hello. All right. High tension here. No one wants to give away their position. Rear view missiles. I keep calling them rear view missiles. That's not what they're called. That, that, I'm doing damage to myself just trying to get up here. Get my GD fire missiles. All right, dude, it's on. Damn it. I'm going to power missile you into oblivion. Sorry, I have to keep looking down at the bottom to see which weapon is selected. Not ideal. Oh, he's got some power missiles of his own. All right, I don't need power missile. I just need a couple of fire missiles should do it. Yeah, 
at him. Things are turning around. Alright, I got four specials. Mr. Grimm has barely been touched. What the hell are you guys doing? I gotta do all the dang work around here. Whoa! None of my mirror rear view missile did anything. Oh damn, Hammerhead's almost dead too. Well, while I'm here, I might as well just take you out. Adam, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, Outlaw, Mr. Grimm, and myself remain. Oh man, I'm like glued to this. We gotta do it, we gotta see it through, everyone. I don't have any lives left. I should probably go get some help. I do not need that oil slick. Oh my lordy. Alright, where's the health? Nice and easy. That was not nice and easy. Alright, gotta pick it up. So we got power missiles. Oh lordy! Outlaws on my A. It's fine. Oh, I nailed him with it. Okay, I'll probably finish him with this homing missile. Nice. Alright, so Mr. Grimm's special move does the most damage of any single special move in the game, so it's imperative that I do not go head on against him. Where is he? Oh, he's on the freeway. All right, that's kind of where I want to be, actually. All right, I got six fire missiles coming your way, Mr. Grimm. Yeah, all right, I guess I have to take this exit. What we got here, anything? Oh, that's a gross sound. It's a computer don't miss. All right, he's right behind me. Do I have any rear view shots? Yeah, I do, nice. You coming? Oh, turbo, yes please. All right, we're doing it. All right, now I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna give him the business with my special. I don't know where the hell those are going. Oh, I got him with the power. Nice, he, good AI. They're like, this is a bad spot to be, Mr. Grimm. Do not pursue. Is he coming out? You don't know what you're messing with. I got a special with your name on it. All right, it didn't work. Apparently, he knows who he's messing with. I could probably finish him with these four fire missiles. Did he go in the arena? Because he's a dead man if he did. I don't know who he's firing at. <laughs> oh, he's in the arena! One special. Two fires, that should do it. No, they're not that homing. All right, this is a moment of truth. One special. Where the hell was that thing going? All right, maybe I can just freeze them and then bash into them. I'm running. I'm scared. All right, give me something up here. Fire missiles, something. Don't. All right, fine. 
I'll take him. Oh, it's rear flame? That's even worse. Well, that's gonna cost me. It's gonna cost you, Tinkerbell. Alright, I gotta get out of here. No, don't die! Alright, these two fire missiles will be the ones. Four fire missiles. Eight. Alright, he's a dead man. Who's the dead man that hit me with a salt shaker? Where is he? Ah, I can just hear him using his special move. Oh, he's in the arena. Alright, alright, alright. Whoa, 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 I'm gonna die just from enemies. God damn. Ah! Jesus! That's like a legit high-octane event. How long did that take me? God damn. Well, we're on to the last level, everyone. Um, I'm just gonna die and start over from this level, because I only have one life left. This song is fantastic. This is great video game stuff. I lose. Oh no. Oh no. While I'm waiting, anyone in the chat? Hey, the, the. Twisted Metal. NHL 98. I was kind of digging Spectre. I might as well just seal the deal. Options. Password. Um, rooftop, squ square, triangle, circle, square, triangle. Oh, wait, no. Uh, rooftop is square, triangle, X, circle, X. Alright, I won't. Alright, there's two levels here. You have to beat two people at the rooftop and then the final boss at the rooftop. These aren't very tough enemies. Well, Hammerhead's tough, but... Listen to this damn song. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Hammerhead's already on my ace. Wow, everyone's kind of already crammed together. Uh, these controls. I don't think there's like a break button, is there? No. I don't think I need more turbo up here. Or bounce pads. Could use some more maxi pads. What's in the box? Speaking of seven, what's in the box? Is there anything over here? No. I don't remember where I'm allowed to go. Aha! Uh -huh. Is there anything over here? Just this. Homing missiles, all right. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Jesus. I really blew it on that one, guys. I got nervous. I had so much good stuff, oh man. It's fine. Everyone, that's fine. Bounce pads, you're sure to beat the game with those. Is that anything? No, nope, that's a roadblock. My bad. This car gets going fast backwards. Got a feather. Feather it. Line it up. All right, hammerhead, you're getting the business. And that was a whiff. A big whiff. Going for it. Yeah. Uh. That's not me, that was you. All right, we're just gonna blow the dome. It's 
it's funny, I'm not dying from enemies, I'm dying from crashing. I'm driving my own car off of a cliff. Oh, I don't want to be over here with Hammerhead. I don't need those. That is not going to help. Oops, I thought because I could see Hammerhead on the screen that I could hit him. That is not correct. He's feathering it. Do I have... Freeze missiles are not going to do it. Oh, someone else blew it up. Okay, good. Homing. You got to pick them up for them to be effective. This little bugger's kicking my A in here. All right, we got to go. We got to go! Couple more homings over here. Nope, they're gone. Oh, they're duking it out. Sweet. Oh, just gotta feather it. Oh man, all three of them are down there. Just being up here. It's gonna be a bugger. Oh dear Lord, and no! That's all three of my life. It's fine. I've been playing this game for a long time. We don't we don't need to complete it. Tell me why Talking Tom has 3.7k views. Is what Tokyo says in the chat. I don't know who the hell Talking Tom is. Oh, the forum? The message forum? I don't. Is that what it's called? I know it's called talking something. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Tokyo, help me! I don't, I don't understand. All right, everyone in the chat, uh, if you guys want me to beat the game, let me know. Otherwise, I will carry on to the next. Here's the list of games we're hoping to play today. Uh, Twisted Metal has taken up a good 40 minutes of my time. I didn't even realize. God damn. That is warm. That's not ideal. Uh, we did play Primal Rage. We did. Uh, we haven't done Batman Forever. This has been a weird stream. We haven't played a lot. Okay. You know what? Mm, let's move on. Guys, Twisted Metal. Hell of a game. One of the all-time pound-for-pound sort of, like, that was a game changer when it came out. Let's go back to the magazine. So of course this was the article that lit my mind on fire. I said, that's the game for me. I don't ever want to play anything but that again. So of course the PlayStation was just coming out this month and uh, we played it on an earlier stream but Battle Arena Toshin Den was coming out and they almost gave it 4.5 across the board. That game does not hold up especially well now. Story to say. Damn, this is Fred Couples. Uh, awesome processing. The graphics processing on the fighters is incredible, though the moves are very simplistic. I don't know. I uh, I don't know if I can say that the graphics processing in Battle Arena Toshinden is incredible. Well, I'll tell you what what. What is incredible? Fred Couples on base. Oh, damn. Uh, even back in the day, I didn't really like this game. I rented it and enjoyed my time with it, but I certainly couldn't imagine buying it or something. Ridge Racer, man, I wish I hadn't played that on an earlier stream. That'd be a really fun one to play right now because the PlayStation is out now. And I was playing this game at my friend Eric's house and being blown away. Great soundtrack too on Ridge Racer, unreal. Almost as good as Fred Couples. 
I've debated whether or not we should play Bug. Let's play Bug. A little time capsule here. 4.5 in graphics, 4 in sound, 4 in control, and 4.5 in fun factor. None of those are correct. And I'm I'm even prorating my expectation backward. No way. None of those can be correct. But we're gonna find out. Firstly, was it Sega Saturn? Yeah, I guess they were looking for a mascot or something. I even checked out Bug 2 to be like, well, did they correct themselves after? They did a little better. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. Uh, let's turn off the game list. And let's turn on fun. Oh, wait, we're playing Bug. No, there's no fun to be had. Bug is a 4.5 in fun, apparently. You guys be the judge. Maybe... Did I just turn this up at some point? Yeah, maybe I did. Okay, entertainment! So I guess what Bug was trying to do was compete with Gex? I don't know. I don't know why you would do that, because Gex wasn't especially noteworthy. Sorry, had to unplug my phone. Press the start button now. God damn it. So here's the thing. Bug. I remember when I would see it, the, the magazine. So let's take a look at Bug real quick before I even play it. Oh, yay. We get to listen to the music. Um, let's take a quick gander at just what it looks like. Bug. So it looks like, oh, is this a 3D platformer? Early 3D platformer? No way. So well, you see this right here. This is a platform that you cannot move left or right on. It's a, it's a 2D game, effectively. It might as well be this. Like here's the map, but it, it's 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 2D as that is. But I remember thinking at the time when you'd see Bug, like, wow, this looks really cool, because it looks 3D. 3D is the best, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But you be the judge. Here's Bug. No, I can't... Okay, here's as much as I can... <laughs> Get away from me! C button is jump. Gotta collect the power-ups, right? And you think, oh, can you take a shortcut? Nope. Obviously, we won't play a lot of this. It's more to show you guys, this was... Sega Saturn had come out last month. PlayStation is out right now. Oh, look at this 3D area. I mean, what were they trying to go for? Why didn't they make the whole game open like this, you know? No, stick them on tiny little platforms that he... Hey! Uppy! My bug juice! You can't even jump off. Very strange. Oh, Jesus. Obviously, I'm, uh... Whoa, 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 Oh, my lord. I'm not pulling out my big guns for this game. I hate that. It's fine. I got the juice. Oh, they'll let me jump too far there. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. This is obviously not a, uh, a game that I'm excited for. Wouldn't you expect a game like Cosmic Psycho to have music like this? And why not? You know what we're gonna do now, guys? The Sega CD fascinates me. Okay? There. I said it. The Sega CD fascinates me, and I want to try Samurai Showdown on Sega CD. Now, obviously, Samurai Showdown is not a new game. It's not just coming out. But, it's a, a game most of us know on a console most of us didn't have. Yeah? So why don't we, together, check out Samurai Showdown 
on the Sega CD. Let's see what the fuss was about. <laughs> Gotta open up my uh, Sega Genesis here. God damn. Cosmic Psycho is not messing around. God damn. Fred Couples is getting a run for his money. Alright, sorry. Let's uh, not mix tunes here. That's ridiculous. Alright. It's a little hectic before it gets normal. I rented this game a bunch. It's kind of I like that it, it's kind of like a high concept fighting game. A samurai fears not death. Oh, you're going to voice over for me. You ruined it. I probably should have watched that cuz it was awful sound effects. I don't want to be that guy, but I do have to point out these sound effects don't sound especially good. So I usually go with Hanzo, but I'm going to go with uh, what's his name? How hum, how Maru? Because obviously you want to go with ninjas, but I think he's not a very great character. The white ninja. We're taking him to school here. Hey man, his little dog. So th I think Samurai Showdown Three or something had already been out in the arcades. So this is kind of like going back. All right, well, maybe they want to play these on Sega CD. Oh, damn. Can I... Can I... Ah, I like that. Whoa, what's he doing? All right, things are happening. Oh, I see that sick block. Oh man, I'm all over him. Galford, I am up in your business. Look at the arms on this guy. One down. How Hamaru is not messing around, Galford. He sent his dog after me? I will chop that dog, alright? That is unfair. Alright, alright, Hamaru is getting so red. You're not the only one who can shoot a tornado. Oh damn. Hey. Oh man, he was on my in my head on that one. Alright. Alright. Oh dear. Alright, I cannot chop him fast enough. You're busted. Oh, he got me. I guessed wrong. Oh, he got me again. Guys, I'm blowing it. I, oh, no, he's going to perfect me. I, there we go. Coming back. Bringing it back. Not with that. Galford wanted it more. Son of a... That was Samurai Showdown on Sega CD. Let's see what they actually have to say. Do they say anything like, eh? Looking for a Neo Geo port over with some power to it? Keep looking. Oh, damn. They're, they're going for it. Keep looking. Although this Sega CD version of Samurai Showdown is enjoyable, it isn't as polished or good looking as it should be. I agree. That felt a little, uh, a little bit off. Of course, we already played Primal Rage earlier in the stream. Feel free to check that out in the archives if you're exceptionally curious which the best version is. 
So we've played Weapon Lord before. I'm amazed that it it's only coming out now. But I will say they actually describe the fighting uh, like there's something weird about Weapon Lord. Oh, sorry. Hey, everyone. Uh, you got to see the thing to see what I'm talking about. All right. So here we are. Samurai Showdown. Primal Rage. We already played. Uh, let's all call the Pro Tips line and figure out how to how to beat Galford in Samurai Showdown. All right, Weapon Lord. Uh, there's like a uh, story mode. Uh, great shape. Uh, graphically sharp. Weapon Lord's controls are exceptional. The characters are extremely large. All right, maybe they don't say it. It's a hard one to play. It's not a normal fighting game. You have to like hold buttons down, I guess. Hey, the Virtual Boy. We played that earlier. Um, that's weird. I totally forgot that that was even coming out, but that was another fine 1995 product. September 1995. So the last stream we played Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo, and it was good. And for some reason, they're saying it's uh, 3.5 in graphics. You maniacs. You gave... I think they give Primal Rage a better score in graphics. No, they're the same. Killer Instinct looks good on Super Nintendo by comparison. I don't even think it looks bad. I think it looks good just overall. Um, so they're saying that K Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo is a worse game than Primal Rage on Super Nintendo. What the hell is going on? Scary Larry needs to be held accountable for this review. This is insanity. You're gonna make me pay 60 bucks. Oh, Jesus. Killer Instinct was 74 bucks. That's pretty offensive. All right, well, that changes things. Not. God, these tunes. But uh, to, all together, they're saying, yeah, but really, the game of the... The game we all should be playing is Weapon Lord. Weapon Lord has no simple fireball motions, no cheesy corner traps, and no half-life air juggles. Its complicated moves reinvent fighting game controls. Even the throws require more because close... Or, uh, more than being close to your opponent and pressing a button. Instead of solely using a standard motion then button routine, Weapon Lord's system involves holding down buttons, then executing controls or motions on the directional pad. Right? That's weird. They were going for something there. It, uh, maybe didn't work out uh, as well as they'd hoped. Alright, where are we at? Oh no, those little spiders are back. have anything to squish him with. It's probably gonna pop down on my finger while I'm in the middle of playing a game. It'll make for good content. Uh, you know me, I love playing a bad game, but even this doesn't look fun bad. It just looks like kind of bad. SWAT CATS! Alright, alright. The 3DO is still trying their best. God bless them. Saturn and PlayStation are out right now, and 3DO's like, Come on, guys, play Zadnos, the People's Party. Mm -mm. Ernest. Mm -mm. Ernest. Mm -mm. Hey, is that a rabbit over there? What is this? Why does this look so pixelated? Synergy. Oh, damn, that looks pretty good, actually. What is that, a 3DO game? Is that the name of a game? Um, I can't tell. But that ad has me curious. My brother's in chat. Time for the plane to go out of the hangar. Eddie. Ernest. Of course, we're referencing Ernest Goes to Camp. Fine, fine film from the 80s. Hey. Watched it recently. Actually, I sent an email to the composer of Ernest Goes to Camp. To say I liked his composers, or his compositions. And he sent an email back. I just looked them up from after the credits. I always wanted to watch this. And I never did. If anyone in the chat or anyone in the archive has seen it, let me know if I really messed up bad. Or if it was a good choice not to watch. Oh my lord. Neo Turf Masters. Alright, how about we get smart. Let's smarten up. 
Oh, I wanted to try Power Drive Rally. I really did, but it doesn't work. Uh, I didn't even bother trying <laughs> Air Cars. Look at this. Have you ever seen a game get 1.5 in graphics? It's uh, not ideal. All right, we got a little Doom and a little Toys R Us advertisement. That's kind of fresh. Oh man, can you imagine getting this Doom t-shirt? That is one of the all-time best logos in video game history. Well, that's as close as I can get without transitioning. And I don't feel like transitioning. Uh, them. You, Capache. Um, okay, what time is it? It's 12.07. I do want to play World Heroes Perfect, but we've had kind of a lot of fighting games on the on the stream today. If anyone's really interested in World he World Heroes Perfect, let me know. Perfect. And I will consider it. But for now, oh, here we go. Um, there is one game in particular I want to check before the stream's over. But it's not this one. We played Slam and Jam a couple of weeks ago, and it was basically a full team 3D version of NBA Jam, and it was really fun. And these rascals are down here giving it 3.5 and fun. What the hell is wrong? And is this Scary Larry too? No, okay, it's another guy. I have no confidence in GamePro's review uh, abilities. Roller Hockey 95. That's not the one I was thinking, but that's just weird enough to maybe want to check out. Hey everyone, did you know there was a roller hockey game that actually had real teams in it? Did you know roller hockey was a real thing? Because I only remembered when I saw this. And now we're going to share all that fun with everyone else. Uh, whoopsie doodle. Don't go there. R-H-I. R-H-I. Roller hockey 1995. Let's go. Funky Fresh Baselines, uh, courtesy of Red Couples himself. All right, Fred. Fred, could you tone it down? Thank you. Jesus. Um, this is actually a pretty good game. It's actually pretty fun. Um, let's see. Home team. Can I be... Vancouver Voodoo. Yeah. What an unprofessional streamer yawning on air. All Good right, evening here we go. and welcome to RHI 95. I'm Rod Phillips. Thank you, Rod. Rod. Hey, am I the. Anaheim wins the draw. I am the. Okay, here we go. Takes a hit from 22. Hit 12. That's Whoop, that's a shot on net. <laughs> Takes a long shot. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Slapper. He shoots. Shot high. Takes a hit from 21. He shoots. Whoa. Shot way wide. Oh, he got me. Dang it. I'm in big trouble here. He shoots. Whoa. The Vancouver Voodoo. It's actually a real team. Takes a long shot. But they don't have the Calgary Hitmen. I don't know if that was roller hockey or what that was. Uh, gotta, gotta get the puck, guy. I can only get you there. I can't make you touch the puck. I got, my team has no body checking. The crowd is just going insane. There's never been a crowd this big for roller hockey. Just gets a piece of it. Long shot. Whoa. One timer. Takes a shot. Oh man, they have one timers. That's actually a that's a high level feature. I think they'd only invent or brought in one timers to NHL ninety five, like the EA game this year. That's what happens when you uh, get a little anxious behind the net. B McConney. Alright, we're getting a goal. Vancouver wins the draw. they have live commentator, that's fresh. Even NHL 95 didn't have that, okay? Oh, lordy, no! What? Don't shoot it over there, you son of a butt. This is interesting, now that I'm looking at it. This is the same camera angle that, like, modern uh, hockey games use. 
and they were doing it on this one way before the rest. All right, that's not going to do it. Is this a wrister? Do I have a wrist shot button? He shoots. Oh, Lordy, Jesus, no. Great stop. Got to clear it. Get it out. Illegal clearing is called against I'm sorry. Vancouver. I'm going to jail, aren't I? Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I thought I buried it. Long shot. Whoa. All right, here we go. Deke, Deke. He shoots. Yeah. Get. A nice hit by Scruggy Two. And that's Son of a gun. The first period. We don't need to keep playing. I just want to document. Frick yeah. God damn. Now we know, you know? Now we know. All right, that was RHI roller hockey hi bro welcome back welcome back to streaming here we are this is probably the one I'm gonna close it out on guys we'll do an early stream tonight we'll do an early stream because I don't think I can top this George Foreman like here's the thing you look at these pictures right Wow this game looks amazing Look at that picture. That looks like the best graphics Super Nintendo game ever in the history of the world. I have um, bad news for everyone. This game doesn't look anything like this. In fact, I think what Acclaim did here, this is so sneaky. They don't mention the name of the game anywhere in this advertisement. It, wait, do they mention it here? Foreman for real. Is that even the name of the game? Let me see. My entire argument depends on it. No. Foreman for real is not a real game. Foreman's KO Boxing is a real game. Let me just make sure. Let me make sure I'm not actually blowing this. Oh, Lord. Okay. Hey, never mind. I was, I was just about to talk Mad Yang about the inventor of the Foreman Grill himself. Foreman for real is a game. I thought because this advertisement has no like this is how I oh I guess I guess that's the name of the game. Foreman for real. Get in touch. Get real. Foreman for real. That's okay, that's bad advertising because I don't know that's the name of your game. Um I only knew once I saw it down here, it says it at the bottom over here off screen. So I thought what anyone else would think. The game was called George Foreman something. There is a game called George Foreman KO, which looks awful by comparison, but now, holy lord, is this actually going to do it? Foreman for real might be the best looking game ever made on the Super Nintendo, based on this title screen. Let's do it. I'll see you there. Foreman for real. Alright, could be the best looking game on the Super Nintendo. I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Damn. God damn. All right. I'm, this is such a good turnaround. This is such a happy ending for me now. Because I was about to just rip on how this advertisement totally false advertised. The soundtrack is killing it. Right. I'm so ready. My body is ready. No, we don't want to see a demonstration fight. Start now. Who would turn this tune off? Uh, let's do an exhibition fight. Select boxer. Big George. I wonder if these are real guys. Can I be Rob the Killer Jones? Savage Sammy Swift. JJ the Bull. Yeah, I want to be the guy that's the fastest. Yeah, I'm going to be JJ the Bull. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. Uh, let's just take out George Foreman himself. Let's embarrass the man. Hell yeah. 
Hear that sick acid bass there. Oh, damn, it does look like that. Making you look foolish, George. Oh, now yeah, I'm the one that's the fool. I don't know how to throw another punch. <laughs> that's all I can do. I am beating him senseless. Although I only have the one punch. Okay, this is really weird looking, right? Have you guys ever seen another Super Nintendo game look like this? Oh, Jesus. I, I can't do another punch, that's it. He only throws lefts. Oh, he knocked me senseless. One, up, two, up, JJ three, the Bull. Four, five, six. Did George kill me? My, okay, here we go. Okay. Yes. Up, oh, Lordy Jesus, Lordy's killing this man. I can't do any damage to him. Look at me. This is fascinating. This is such a weird... What a weird turnaround. Oh. That... Oh, no, no. I'm not going to make it out of this round. I can't do anything. George is the best of all time. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. How did I... I did a couple of different punches. One start of the round. Oh, and he, he knocked me senseless. One, two, Get up, JJ. Oh, learning JJ. Five, six, seven, eight. Just survived the round. Okay, standing eight count. Here we go. All right, I just got to stay alive. That is not how you stay alive, JJ. Oh, Lordy, no. Nine seconds for the love of Christmas. Oh, my God. Swinging for the fences on that one. Oh, we did it. Oh, Lordy. not my best round. They still gave me... Ah, I almost kept up with them with punches. In fact, I landed more punches. Wow, I did not get a good recovery. What? Are they just letting him walk over? Oh, Jesus. Oh, whoops. I was on another screen. Oh, dear. That's three knockdowns. Upsy doodle. Three. Come on, you have to want it. Five. JJ, goddammit. Oh, wow, he does want it. Come on, JJ. Yeah. Don't let Foreman beat you up. Your kids are watching. Come on, Gunday. Yeah. Oh, and that's not ideal. <laughs> I'm like watching a Rocky movie here. No, 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 no. Oh, Lord. It could be my face on the George Foreman grill. JJ's time is now. In the corner, fighting for his life. Fighting for his endorsement deal with the Foreman grill. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five. Don't, not like six, this, JJ. Seven, not like this. Nine. Ah, uh, George. You're out. The best of all time. I can't. I can't compete with that. Well, I'm happy that that game actually looks like this, because that was a good-looking game.
Mazzo disappointing in loss. Well, guys, I'm fighting George Foreman. Sorry. Sick acid base. I'm just gonna let this play out. While we look at the rest of the magazine. Holy Lord. NBA Jam TE. Chrono Trigger, one of the best games of the era. Still holds up. Music is good. Graphics are good. Control is good. I'm glad that they actually gave it a good rating. If you'll note, fives all around. Scary Larry got that one right. Tecmo Secret of the Stars, on the other hand. Never played. That was at the height of my playing every RPG that could possibly come out. And even then, I was still like, eh, I don't like the way this little kid looks like on the cover. No thanks. And I was a good Tecmo kind of guy. Ninja Gaiden, Tecmo Super Bowl. Those were all staples in our household growing up. Demolition Man. Oh, dude, I'm, re I'm due for a rewatch. I'm due for a Demolition Man rewatch. Yeah. Snipes, Stallone. Look at this goddamn game, Killing Time. You'd see this ad and it just looked like, these are just digitized graphics, but this looks so crazy. And it has this depth to it. And he's getting bullet holes in him. Everything about that's just crazy. But then when you actually play the game, it's just nonstop, like FMV. Like, that's not ideal. They're still going strong on the Primal Rage. All the rage at GamePro. Triple shot. Berserk mode. Your dino goes berserk when it's battered by a damaging combo or a series of moves. In berserk mode, your dino does more damage than usual. Samurai Showdown much? Okay. That's what Samurai Showdown is. The redder you get, the more damage you're doing, I think. Oh, but hey, the move list on Game Gear. I wonder if they have the peeing fatality on Game Gear. Do they? Golden Shower, they do. Wow. I wonder what it looks like. Well, I guess I know they had it on Super Nintendo as well, but I think they, they get rid of the stream. Like, you can't see the yellow stream. Kids couldn't handle it, man. Whoa, what a sensual advertisement. Sorry. All right, just making sure the game isn't like painfully quiet. Sophia says, spend your money to reserve a Sony PlayStation. Sophia says, give the money to your local video game store and do it now. Sophia says, get on your knees and bark like a dog. Now give Sophia a kiss. You could say that's misogyny, but maybe she's just a dom and she makes a lot of money doing her profession. Not for kids. Neo Geo getting advertised. A Neo Geo CD. Come on guys, it's only 700 to 500, 500 to 700 bucks, come on. Ernest. All right, we can uh, we can relieve George Foreman of his duties. George Foreman, I salute you. Your game was actually good. Well, I don't know if it was good, but it looked cool. All right, so we got some more drawings here. We got uh, Core from Weapon Lord getting included. That's nice. Oh man, I would love to play Cosmic Carnage and. Carnage? Carnage? Well, I don't know why I said it like that. And Savage Rain. We're winding this stream down. Unless something just erupts. If someone erupts into the chat saying, Oh, I need to see this game or that game. One final check on the list. Anyone sees a game on here that I haven't played that it, they actually really want to see? I'll check it out. Otherwise, we're gonna uh, wind it on down because I think this magazine has reached its final uh, leg.
Alright, this is funny. Um, I'm just reading ahead in the magazine because I forgot you guys can't see it. Um, there's the game list. Take a close look now. Okay. Some game genie codes, uh, infinite lives, uh, infinite time. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Check this out. Street Fighter, the movie, the arcade game. This is funny. They were just trying to, like, rip off Sector and, uh, I forget the other name. Sector and Cyrax? Um, so they take these generic soldiers from the movie and just, like, palette swapped a, uh, here's a yellow one called Kyber and a blue one called Arcane. They really weren't hiding that they were going for a Mortal Kombat vibe. Oh, and they have a third one, F7, who's just Noob Sabot. <laughs> uh, well, Mortal Kombat was a big deal at the time. Well, okay, at least, at least the Jaguar was coming down in price. I don't know why CD was... This... Okay, fine. Get the Jaguar CD. Just buy it, please. Um, the secret beverage was... Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. For all the future viewers. Oh, we got some funny peripherals here. A horry fighting stick. Unfortunately named. This sounds funny. I had Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball for the SNES for a while now, and recently I was in the middle of a full season with the Blue Jays. I played the All-Star game, and when I played the next game of the season, some, but not all, of my players' home runs have been erased. And then they say, uh, yeah, we've heard that this has some pretty serious bugs. Wow. Ken Griffey himself should be ashamed. I demand redemption. Oh, this is big. They're like, hey, guess what? Mario World 2 is out, and we call it Yoshi's Island. They should have just called it Super Mario World 2, because it would have probably made me want to play it more than I did. You know? Oh, God damn. I mean, it's kind of an annoying game, too, because you play as Yoshi, and you have baby Mario the whole time. But it looks good. They did some classy stuff here. They made it look like uh, Pencil Crayon had drawn it, which is not easy to do with pixels, I would imagine. Virtua Fighter 2 coming out on Sega Saturn. Virtua Cop coming out Sega Saturn. Uh, what do they say? Winter 1995. Well, we played those last week. We saw what they looked like. Again with Mortal Kombat 3. Coming out fall 1995. If you really want to play it. Patience is a virtua. I was curious about playing some Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition on this because I'm a big Tecmo Super Bowl kind of guy and uh, I know they did not... They couldn't do it. It doesn't play well. It doesn't play like the NES one does. And that's kind of a letdown, everyone. Um, so maybe we'll pass that by. We don't want to bum everyone out. We're just winding down now. Uh, Black Fire Helicopter Game. Apparently I do have that. Should I check it out? It says it's coming winter. Uh, uh. Cyber Speedway looks kind of cool. But I'm not gonna play. You know what, everyone? I think that's a good stopping point. We're just gonna wrap it up. Looking Hellraiser Virtual Hell did not actually come out. I looked it up. Couldn't find it. That's a bummer. Looks kind of like a weird one. Probably the closest Hellraiser's uh, pinhead ever got to a video game. Actually, he wasn't in the Mortal Kombat series, was he? Like, I know the new Mortal Kombat's have introduced a lot of, like, DLC. Tokyo Toy Show. Talking about some new Atlas fighting game. I'm a sucker for fighting games, guys. Not to be outdone in the fighting game arena, Atlas was on hand to show off their latest home, Fighter Power Instinct 2 for the PlayStation. It'll be a fun one to check out at some point. Not right now. We're winding down. Uh, King of Fighters. A couple of Saturn games. 
always hard pressed to read these as a kid. Oh, what are they talking about the Neo Geo? The Neo Geo CD will launch in October with about 70 titles. How much is it? $3.99 on par with the PlayStation. That's a tough ask. That's a tough ask because all the I don't think there was any third party games on the SNK Neo Geo. Oh man, I remember reading these. Uh, oh wait, fine, I have to zoom out. Digipen. Man, I wanted to go to Digipen when I was uh, about this age. It's like a video game school in Seattle, I think. It's about 6000 per year. Well, I went to audio engineering school, and it was a lot more than that, so I should have gone to Digipen. Ugh. Just look at me now. I'm making streams on the internet. Oh, wait, it was in... It was in Vancouver. It wasn't in Seattle. Interesting. I think they changed the name of it by the time I got old enough to go to school there. Anyone ever buy anything off these lists? You guys want Mickey Mania for $35? I don't know about that one. Uh-huh. 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 And that's the end. Everyone check out retromags.com. Great website if you want to look at old magazines. That's it for me. We did it. We wrapped it up. Um, something about... Oh, Jesus. All right, what can we do? We gotta wrap it up correctly. We gotta find the good tunes. So here we go. No. That sounds about right. Everyone. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. It's been another amazing stream. Something to do with my audio this stream. It's very hard when I'm loud, but not loud at the same time. I'll fix it for next week. That was September 1995. Ah. It's quite a month. A lot of TV shows were just starting. A lot of games were happening. Things were ramping up. It was getting crazy. Hope everyone out there is having a great time. Enjoy the rest of your night. This is Norrin Rad, signing off.